announcements before we begin. Um, you know the usual. Uh, link to our Tiltify page where we raise money for Color of Change will be put in the VODs. Next Wednesday is our last session of Embers of Autumn because on the 13th we're taking a break to do the anniversary stream one shot on July 13th and that'll be run by Lex. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Come check that out. Come watch us do something sort of, you know, it's, yeah. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, so that's July 13th and then Embers of Autumn will be back uh, July 20th. Uh, Kate, anything you want to talk about? Yes, um, I got an Etsy shot. If you're a longtime viewer or listener, uh, you might have heard a little bit about it. Uh, but on this Etsy shop, uh, I got some uh, fun little bumper stickers that you can get. Uh, if you want to check out bad dice, uh, Etsy.com slash shop slash bad dice co, uh, you can see the wider range of uh, Etsy, uh, stickers that I have available. But uh, I want to do a little bit of game of a game, give you all a little sneak peek at some of the designs that I have. So Sam, give me a D and D class. Monk. This is the monk sticker. Nice. It's got a little D eight because that's your hit die, and then a D twenty, and then monk. I make I make nice. Um, Brittany, give me a different character uh, class. Barbarian. <laughs> got a little d12 in the bottom it's a little small uh because it's on an ipad uh, but justin give me one more D, D class i'll give you the best one which one wizard wizard yeah wiz we <laughs> that one's probably a little weird but wizard got a little d6 yeah. in the bottom it definitely does say wiz now that i think about it yeah the wiz uh, Wiz. Wiz. Um, but you can get all of those and more at my Etsy shop, etsy.com slash shop slash bad dice co. Back to you, Justin. Alrighty. Anybody else got anything? Codex Legendarium back this Sunday for sure. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh schedule got, and things have been yeah. good lately. Um Yep. And we're in the middle of a dungeon or are we just starting a dungeon underneath Justin's character's hometown. That's fun. Yep not concerned at all what oh, could right. possibly be down there what could possibly down there why does the thing down there hate me um, what could possibly go wrong lots of things <laughs> um, so last we left off you all fought an adult green dragon and some people that were afflicted by some weird sickness um, long story short the dragon ran away while you all dealt with the afflicted people. One of them was killed by having their life forces drained for them, and the rest were cured of their diseases by coin with their wonderful lay on hands ability. Uh, during some discussions, coin transformed into an adult silver dragon after drinking a potion and said, fuck this, let's go get that dragon. The storm cleared, the party climbed up onto coin's back and took off in the direction that the green dragon went. After about an hour, just as the potion was on the cusp of ending, you encountered the green dragon, fought the green dragon on dragon back, Dax leapt off, fell into the swamps below, and Flitz killed the green dragon with a fireball. The corpse then plummeted into the swamps, landing on Dax, but Dax avoided most of the damage, and... With an explosion of scalding flame and a surge of errant magic from the dying green dragon, you're all suddenly afraid of one another from its death throw abilities that dragons get now, uh, as the dragon's burning body slams into the swamps below. The fear fades in less than a minute, and you all see a plume of billowing smoke rising up into the sky from where the dragon was felled. Coin, you can feel the effects of the potion wearing off slowly as it had taken an hour to get here so it's going to give you enough time to land if you need to well you'll be fine your friends who don't fly ah! anyways yeah uh, I, I can fly still then yes. I get them down. uh dax get down. you can easily pull yourself out from under the body of this burning dragon the magical flames quickly cook the corpse but since you're standing down here amidst the gnarly swamp 
you notice hordes of hundreds of thousands of biting insects swarming out of the trees and other weird creatures squirming around in the mud and quickly consume the flesh of this dragon within seconds. As for anyone else, oh. everyone else, you're miles away from any semblance of dry ground in this region of the swamp. And yeah, coin the potion's got like 10 seconds yeah, left on it. <clears throat> making sure everyone gets out of the ground. Okay, so you land, uh, and as you land, the potion fades. And, Are um, we still scared of each other? No, that's gone. Okay. Uh, and you can just see like scraps of flesh still remaining on the dragon, and the organs are intact still. They just seem to eat the skin, but leave the meat behind. Um, and as you're all standing here in this swamp, you can see there is no semblance of dry ground anywhere, uh, and you can feel hundreds of small life forms swimming and squirming in this muddy water around your feet. As for you, Coin, that orb fragment on, on your person, you feel it ping again, this time in a northern direction now, having shifted from the previous northern northwesterly direction. So it's now it's switched due north. So when <clears throat> we originally got it, it's been a minute, did we get it off the body of the red dragon? No, it was in its horde. Oh, okay. So then... We need to find the horde so that we can get another piece of Bahamut. And I have a feeling it is going to be that way. Right. We should start walking. Let's see what we can get off of this one. We know that dragon parts are useful and magical in nature. Perhaps uh, we can get something off this that might help with when fighting the others. Hey. I mean, anything we can scavenge and might be able to use for potion ingredients, but it doesn't look like there's much left. Just the skin gut. They're just clean. They're just currently cleaning the skin off, but there's really no scales left. They ate all the scales away. It's just the flesh okay. and the meat and everything else. Is there, we'll is there help. like a way to maybe recall any kind of information on dragons? Like that could they? I mean, aside from like the trophies of like the teeth and the talons and you know things like that, is there anything like it internal that could be useful? To it depends what you're trying to figure out and deduce. Like, this thing breathe, like, did a big poison breath, yeah. you know? Does it have like a like a poison sack or something? Yeah. Is there... Try to, harvest, try to harvest its breath pouch. You know, the maybe the heart is useful for something. Mm -hmm. uh, the hearts aren't uh, for anything, um, but because it's just a heart. Uh, or you sell in the black market and you tell people, hey, you also live sell a really long life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Off, off, this dragon heart. the stuff I use for harvesting creatures, right. dragon hearts have no use. They're just big hunks of meat. Tell you what, you dry it out and grind it up and snort yourself some of that. You're going you're gonna to feel stuff, okay? Uh, poison. You're going to feel real stuff. poisoned. You're gonna feel, you're gonna feel, I mean, aren't we all just slightly slowly poisoning ourselves in this here world of existentialism um, no, point sounds me. a little different <laughs> but i will say the scales have been or the scales are what's being eaten eaten away by the insects currently they haven't gotten to the meat yet uh dragon meat is a delicacy and considered one of the finest meats you can eat however it spoils incredibly fast and it spoils within one day uh can i make a medicine uh so with my potion making skills what would I based on and based on the last dragon we harvested supplies from what would I want to go after as far as like maybe making potions uh blood blood um what about like the bio the poison sack would uh, that be the poison anything? sack is used to make something completely different okay cool uh then I'm gonna start trying to gather some blood okay first off make a nature check instead of a survival <gasps> because this is a dragon and not deer. Nature or survival? Uh, nature. 
and the blood has a DC of 10. Okay. Just gotta... I just gotta make it, make it 10. No okay. worries. I can beat a 10. Uh, let me turn off this for a second. Brock, come on. Crumb's being weird. Uh, roll. Um. Oh, that first one. It all went to the astral. The first one was a 20, but the one I intentionally clicked was a 9. The first one was a 20. Yeah. But the one you, what, intentionally was a 9? Because I was clicking it and I wasn't seeing it pop up on D&D Beyond, so like, what's going on? Oh, Virtual uh, Beyond well, 20. Use the first one, because that's the first all one right. is the one that, 20. is the one that, okay. Uh, so you harvest enough blood that isn't coagulated or uh, weird. A lot of the blood is kind of weird. Mm -hmm. um, but the blood that isn't coagulated um, and soupy, uh, you get seven. You can fill seven vials if you have seven vials. How many vials do you have? Um, I think I have five. But let me double check. I have five empty vials. Okay, you fill then, all five vials. Uh, and then I also use. Would I have six now? Because I used one of the fire breath potions. Yes. So you fill six okay. vials. Uh, the remaining blood is just. No, it doesn't really have much use, the, the leftover blood that you leave behind. Um, Anna, but... do you need another <laughs> bottle? Uh, yeah, if you got oh, one yeah. more, that would be good. Coin hands you the bottle he just drank Toss out them. of. Yeah. So, okay. so you get all you get seven vials of adult green dragon blood. Uh, it's, okay. They weigh a pound total, so all seven. I mean, yeah. Okay. You can, yeah. Uh, this is going to be worth 250 gold, and the blood will spoil in seven days. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Hey, Drek, can I put these in your uh, bag of preserving? Yep. Alright, I'm going in the bag. Right. Oh, until I can actually sure sit that down does not go over its capacity. Um, and uh, with, so that, with that blood, you could make a potion of poison. No, it's not anything to do with poison. Uh, I'll figure it out. What potion you can make with that. Do, do we want the the poison gullet thing? Do you want to go out to that, or is it even... Yes. A... Yes. Uh, someone help me with it. I will say, uh, on using the table that I use, on a failure, the item cannot be harvested and is ruined. So, just heads yeah. up. Just so expectations need... are in place. Do you need small hands? Uh, Ooh, I can also yes. cast Guidance on Druk. Hmm. Just in case. Yeah, Coin, you know dragons. You should take a, you know. Uh, I definitely don't want to get poisoned by this. Let's, uh, many hands make that work. Uh, but uh, I think this might be the way. Can I roll? Nature check, so, DC yeah, 20. So, yeah, okay. so would I give him the help action then? Yeah, if you want. I'm helping? Yeah, I'm helping. To advantage. Help. Nature check, Thanks. DC 20. 29. Okay. You get the, you after a good half hour, getting in through all the meat and bones and stuff you um it's that headband of intellect guys you helping uh, out those intellect <laughs> you cut through a thin membrane and gather two glands that are wrapped together with like another fleshy membrane um and you have collected the dragon breath pouch it weighs 12 pounds it'll spoil in two days and it is worth 3,000 gold. Uh, how much did it cost? Or how much did it weigh? 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Spoils in two days. So it's worth 3,000 gold. Um, uh, and you said it's worth 2,000 gold? 3,000. 3,000 gold. As a use. 3, you said it when it spoils, can it spoil? I mean, like, is it spoiling even in the bag of no, because the bag of preserving, preserving preserves the organic materials. Okay, all right. It, it just out of the bag. If you didn't, it didn't have a safe way to store it, it would Excellent. have no use. Um, as a use, if you don't figure out what you can make with it, because nobody knows what you can make with this, uh, the membrane may be thrown up to twenty feet, and the pouch explodes upon impact. Any creature within fifteen feet of the impact must roll a DC fifteen Dex save or suffer five D eight poison damage. 
Yeah, it's like a micro it's like a poison small, fireball. It's like a small yeah. water balloon that bursts and Oof. Uh, but as for what it can make, no one's really sure. That's like a requires yeah. more experienced makers. My dad might know. Would there be anybody that like magic like would it be like a magic item? Making no. type of thing. No, the okay, group has so information what... on us. Somebody who might know what to do with this kind of stuff, but you don't. Flitz, cool. Yeah, Flitz is like maybe somebody at the college that I'm not going back to. Uh, <laughs> I will. You can guys, idea. based on the the fireball damage done to the corpse, you can harvest one more thing from the corpse if you would like. Uh, do we want to get some meat? I would like to try some of this. It's probably got it like. You know, a spicy kick to it. Okay, you're gonna try to get the dragon. Oh, the sour spice. Dragon meat. Who's going for yeah, it? Who's, unless who's... there's, unless the, uh, I mean, yeah. All right, who's going for the dragon meat? Unless there's any objections. I will not partake of yeah. this. That's fair. Meat. Okay. All right. Uh, guidance on truck. Cool. Okay. Give it a shot. What am All I right. Nature check DC five. Sixteen. Just, just meat. All right. Uh, the meat that isn't burned and completely charcoaled by fireball, uh, you can easily get. Um, let me see how much meat you actually get here. Roll me eight D twelve. Eight D twelve. Yep. Forty-six. Forty-six. You can get forty-six pieces of meat off of the creature, uh, weighing a total of a hundred and forty-eight pounds. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, our hunt is done on Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now that, so hunt, that means so it's one hundred forty-eight pounds of dragon meat, which will spoil in one day. <laughs> Guys, we really are playing Oregon Trail right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... Don't look at dysentery! Yeah, uh... <laughs> I think Coin has that covered. Each piece of meat is worth yeah. 100 gold. Oh Oof. yeah, it'll spoil in one day. And you said how much does it weigh? 20 pounds for each piece. Or sorry, that's, that's oh. incorrect. That's incorrect. Uh, 148 pounds total. 148 pounds total. And how many pieces? Whatever you rolled. 40, 46. Uh, 46. 46. So they're just over 10 pounds each? Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That You mean... That doesn't sound right. No. How many pounds they're, is it? The meat? It's 148. About 148 pounds of meat. Right. And how much? And how many pieces are there? 46. 46. That's just over 3.2 pounds each. Yeah. Thank you, Ma Mr. Math Teacher. <laughs> Your like, insight is about like, Yeah, there's like 10. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like 10 pounds each, 10 guys. Pounds. 10 times 40, it'd be like 480 pounds. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, got the, I did the math wrong. Uh, it is worth a total. There's an actual tool to calculate the total worth of this meat, if you're by any chance curious. Uh, it is worth 900. It's worth 92 gold. Total. total. Oh, 92 gold total for all of them. All of the meat. Or for each piece. Oh. For each piece, it's worth 92 oh, gold. Okay, okay, okay. 92 for each piece. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, 148 pounds of just dragon meat. Nice. And I think the weight limit on the pack of preserving is like 50 pounds. Oh, yeah. The, the dragon meat, though, is right now it's 4232 gold pieces worth of meat uh and with that with your with what you rolled uh if the meat is dried and smoked it can yield 46 days worth of dragon jerky and the dragon jerky doesn't spoil park it and start making jerky <laughs> yeah <laughs> Get the tower ready. Now, Do this, a, this get the, 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 the weather in this swamp is too wet to dry anything 
Mm. Yeah. yeah plus it we're still the same day it was like yeah. super windy and rainy rain yeah. was gooshing yeah, down you got, got a lot of meat so figuring out yeah. where you can put all this meat no exciting. we would we would have to make the the tower a hot house mm -hmm. yeah. oh man <laughs> start a fire in the middle suck. but uh <laughs> open up the top for the sake of you know things. what we'll make we'll make the house in remnant the jerky house there you go in the basement uh, yeah. But for the sake of time, uh, while, Druk's har while Druk's harvesting this thing, an hour does pass. So if anything needs, if anyone needs to do anything, that takes an hour. But everyone did all that on the back of the dragon. But regardless, yeah. an hour passes while Druk and Kenna. Is that like chill uh, time? Is there a possibility for like relax? Like it depends if you can be relaxed with all the things swimming around in the water and all the biting insects, because you can constantly feel things swimming in between your toes and like around your feet in this water. Can we get the carpet and sit on the carpet and rest? <laughs> yeah, just have a little bit of tea on the <laughs> carpet. Just like just a little. Those of you who aren't, those little, of you who aren't little, harvesting little, little can get a time. short rest. So I think. Oh. Okay. So everybody but Kenna and Druk can get a short rest. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Sounds fair. Sorry, right, guys. Y'all are doing really good work. Yeah, while well, Druk's <laughs> harvesting this thing, you can see the bits that are left behind. Oh, wow. The insects and other swamp life are just tearing away at this thing. And you can make out like python sized leeches that are like coming up to like get any blood that's in the corpse. <sighs> yeah, it's early afternoon. Drunk with your passives, whatever your survival score would be at this point. You can tell just by the, with the position of the sun in the sky. It's 1 p.m. 1 p.m. But you all rest as much as, as well as you can in this swamp. And uh, you have a feeling probably once you get out of the out of the swamp you might have some stragglers. But yeah. Oh we might we might have a, a couple of uh, transients clinging on to yeah, us. Yeah, some leeches. No one ever else oh, dwells yeah. in swamp water. Jardia. Uh, I'm certain we've all got crinkle toe. Roll for, roll for diarrhea. Roll um, for crinkle toe. <laughs> Ew. But uh, yeah, the dragon's harvested uh, from what you can harvest from it, and uh, yeah, coin the thing just keeps pinging north. It's. At this point, before it was kind of like every maybe once every ten minutes. This time, it's like once every minute. Just ping, ping, ping. During the like rest, Flitz is gonna like pop a squat next to coin. Okay, if if Flitz pops a squat in this water, you'd be fully. Submerged. No, he's on the carpet. <laughs> we're on the carpet. We're, we're <laughs> probably right. Both okay. Us. Just well, saying, being just saying, if you pop a squat, you're just gonna. Yeah, <laughs> we, we would be the last ones to just like chill in the swamp water. I was gonna say we're probably uh, we're probably crisscross applesauce, maybe enjoying like a light a light tea or something. Okay, just trying to relax, really get the sure uh, pop pop the sh dislocated shoulders back in, things like that. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, are, are you? Is it okay that I did what I did? Are you offended as Bahamut offended I know this was kind of your your thing right the bad oh. dragons and such bad dragons I take it you are you've got concerns that maybe I what you would need to understand is that I am not uh, precious about um disposing of trash as it were um I, I i understand that in the moment i was you know declaring that i of course am the garbage man and the trash man cometh to take out any sort of um refuse that refuses to leave of its own volition yes i i i i get that with my natural raw intensity you might uh, assume that I would or dang, not, no, I am not precious about how we um, dispatch trash um, okay, I will say I just, uh, 
that you have done a great service in the battle mm. against evil and trash, and you have helped cleanse this land. So I, I mean, uh, you keep keep on keeping on. Yeah, it, that is right up there. High five. <laughs> Good <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Good. Okay. That is no. It, yeah. I. It's fun to be sure. I. Couldn't. Yeah. No. I. 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 Like I. I. Understand your concern. Mm -hmm. But I want to assure you that, as we move forward, I consider perhaps I should say the next. Uh, trash dragon that we see I, I would maybe declare us all part of the sanitation crew that has come to uh, compact and dispose of the absolute trash that exists in our land if I mean I don't want I never want to speak for the that is Kenna's uh, job and they do a fine job of being our mouthpiece and I uh, would I would say that that is not what I would want to declare but on behalf of Bahamut I would say great fantastic job uh, burning a hole through the supposed heart of an absolute uh, 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 cancer on right. the land uh, one, this one more thing. I'm just curious oh, about please. you. You, Open you, book. and you indicated, you, you, you pointed out where it, where it came from or where it was. Do you have like an innate ability to sense dragons in a certain uh, area? Uh, he pulls out the big stuffy that uh, that Druk had won him, and then he sits uh, it down next to him. And he rubs the belly of it, and and that's where Coin had he had unzipped the back and, mm. and put the, the piece of sphere inside so that it adds more stuffing to the Bahamut tummy of this. So he just nice little nice little solid <laughs> plump belly. Love that. Uh, what is he's gonna? Then, can, yeah, so he's gonna like reach out and touch it. Unzips. Oh yeah, you could. This is uh, Bahamut. No, I'm sorry. Yes. This is confusing. No, this is um, this is a representation of Bahamut, and when he reaches into the 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 stuffy and pulls out the wedge of this sphere that's almost the size of Coin himself. Did Druk win that? It, did that come in the stuffy with it? Did this, won? Is, this is the last time we helped rid the land of this particular clan of chromatic uh, crap masters. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. had uh, left a piece of this is like almost almost like kind of tenderly. This is a piece of Bahamut. Mm -hmm. And I his stomach. I will be uh, collecting and bringing together all of the pieces. So there's more pieces like this, or is there like a, is it a, a puzzle? It is. Oh, I, I hope that it is an easy puzzle, but yes, and it is that way. What is so, it? Sorry, what does it look like? What is the, it, the Lily, object? It's a, it's a piece of a sphere. Like an, so like, a, are like, missing... a, like an orange wedge. Is what I've kind of always thought of it as. Yeah. Okay, made okay it's made so it's like essentially... Okay, so, so it's a platinum-like fragment. Piece of wedge, and it looks like there should be other yeah. pieces? Like yeah, a very the way it's very orange. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. And now it's, I mean... Yeah. Anyone knows what those are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, but it looks... Is it, is it, it's not like a smooth cut. Is it like a broken, jagged... Like it, it edges looks, or like a smooth. We've I, I guess we want it to look like. Yeah, I, I've always imagined that it looks like torn rather than like cut. It's not uh, 
it's not like a smooth there's like fracture cracks shattered. essentially yeah, like, yeah. yeah. but yeah. like yeah. pieces that have been yeah like how there would be natural tear like like a yeah, yeah, like yeah. a leaf or anything yeah, as you as you tear it okay. apart you can see that it's jagged because of the natural at a molecular level the cellular structure starts to get sorry y'all were saying sphere like orb thing so i was like okay yeah yeah so, so now that it's it's a it's a it's a piece of that mm -hmm. okay got it got it got it got it oh uh okay well <laughs> like an orange wedge got it <laughs> Yeah, sorry. I, I realize I'm 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 I've already got it in that my was... mind and I didn't describe it at all. Coin has a a great penmanship artiste. <laughs> away with words and away with the pen. Uh as Yadalin would say, flattery will get you everywhere. So full of that. Right. Uh, I'm going you to swear you see the dragon's corpse move a little bit and you think to feel like, oh fuck, is it alive? And you can just see this massive, like, anaconda-sized leech ensnaring itself around the corpse. Ooh. Can we lift the carpet up just a little bit? Yeah, the carpet Ooh. floats up another. Ooh. That carpet <laughs> is not going to be we're going like... fast, though. Six inches. Oh, no, we're like... <laughs> we're like... We're like... Uh... That's a super well, tiny... We're like the mice. Like, if these were regular-sized snakes, and I'm just saying, like if everyone's mice, riding so... the carpet, that thing is just not going anywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Ven is also using pressed digitation to clean the like mud and swamp water off the carpet as okay. people get um, yep. it. assist with that. So is everybody getting on the carpet? Uh, not yet. No. Uh, I mean, if we're moving forward, uh, I was right. saying moving up. Once we saw that snake, like while oh, they're yeah, yeah. so this it's was this conversation rising. was happening okay. while Kenna as, and yeah, well, were harvesting. Oh, that okay. was that. No, this is this okay. is our. Yeah. Short, short rest. Short rest. Okay, yeah. short rest Noted. chat. All right. Just wanted to bring that up. He Flitz just wanted to apologize. <laughs> no, so, yeah. no, no apologies necessary. All right. If so you're yeah, trying rest, to kill a thing, yeah. The it's... short rest would come to an end. Everything's been harvested. And that would be when the anaconda sized leech decides to take what's left for its own. Got it. Okay. Right. So. Uh, guys, where's Dax? Dax is with you guys. Oh, never mind. We found Dex. Right We're there. Brittany just hadn't said anything. I'm like, wait, did we find Dex? I'm here. I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm vibing during the harvest. The cold. The mosquito storm. I like, how, I like how Dex just like trudges up next to the to the drag the corpse of the dragon as we're like harvesting and coin and flits are are having their chat and Dex just walks up and he's just like. Up, just guys? vibing, leech <laughs> on her face, just going fine. <laughs> just yeah, vibing. Just, yeah, Dax was pinned, like <laughs> in the water, so yeah, there's leeches like all over, like a beard of leeches. Just been slowly just picking them off. Just gross. Dax, uh, come on, let, let us help rid you of these uh, uh, parasites. Uh, also, can I say? one very specific thing to you 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 have come down like the tail and claws of Bahamut on that you 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 struck fear into the heart of this dragon did you see it had to use its more of its runes than you thought it would like, that is you, that is Wayne? I do anything for you, buddy. I, I, oh, well, I'm, uh, I'm saying you've, you've done it all for yourself. I, 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 I missed it. You should, Dax, you should tell us the tale of how, how you put fear in this dragon when we, when we rest for the night. I, I would, did not see it. I was behind the wall cowering. <laughs> Druck, you were very useful in that fight. You always are. Don't you worry. But if everybody wants me to do what I just did up there again, that is not a chance in hell. I did not think I would be standing after that. Yeah, Dex, are you all right? Um, you know, we 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 walked it off. We walked it off the past hour. 
Yeah. I'm 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 fine, but I it's will like not be doing it. that again. <laughs> Did anyone see that? Because that, I, will I will not be, be doing, doing that again. <laughs> Luckily, with invisible coin, we all got a fucking view of just that yeah. poof and falling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we all clearly saw it. We all saw no it. No matter where you were. Yeah. <laughs> I right. thought about taking Featherfall at one point, too, I will say, but I didn't. I <laughs> normally have it, but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> didn't I did not have it um, this time. But yeah, uh, harvesting the dragon, everything else, what is the uh, plan? Right, Final so. Point? Um. I am having, there's a warm feeling coming from the Shard of Bahamut and it is uh, directing me to go straight uh, north and I believe that is where we will find another Shard. So if everyone is ready, I will lead the way. Is everybody on Astral, just to be safe? I forgot to yeah. mention it. All right. mm-hmm. All right. Oh, no. Oh, Astral. It's not necessary this week, but if you want to hear cool walking music. Music. Ooh. Ooh, spooky. I just got an ad from Bell Media instead when I typed that in. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> they suck. All right. So, that's loud. So, this is, so the just to be clear, the swamp water's pretty fucking deep right it's uh it's only it's like a knee high for, it's about knee high for everybody that isn't flitzen coin could would the group be opposed to flitzen coin not trudging through <laughs> i'm water? i'm absolutely going to be flying okay okay so flitz will be on the carpet if that's okay. all right cool mm-hmm. i will unless someone right. wants to carry me come fly with me <laughs> excellent uh who is navigating for this swamp trek to wherever coin's orb is pointing? Guidance uh, on coin. Yeah, I'll Drek will just watch out for any natural stuff, but he'll let coin, yeah, you know, I'm decide the direction. Fly above the tree line and see. Okay, like, so and coin would be out of sight then if coin's flying above the tree line. Yeah, I'll be right back just just to look, okay. and get my bearings, and come back down. Okay. Uh, yeah. Immediately to the west, about ten miles to the west, are the Taragahar Mountains. Mm-hmm. The lightning storm. Um, so you get a sense. Oh, flying. Maybe I'll stay down here, uh, like below the trees. I mean, um, yeah. North. You can see uh, after about looking north, after about thirty miles north, it gets into the boreal rainforest of the verdant shores but north just looks like swamp for a little bit more nothing really stands out all right we've got uh about 30 miles until we reach a slightly less damp uh rainforest so i hope You've all changed into your cotton gear, cause it and got and and changed out of your <laughs> leather gear, cause it's gonna get tight. Uh, it's right. going to be wet and horrible. So I need the marching order. Uh, Person in the, the point, front is the navigator. So uh, I'll still be in front and still be above, but I'm going to jump from tree to tree. Not like, cause I won't like probably Naruto? be able to. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, yeah. Okay, definitely. cool. But, like, yeah, it's going to be kind of a, a jump from tree to tree All right. navigation All rather right. than full on. I'm not going to, like, pump the wings the whole time. All right, who's behind coin? Uh, Drug will try and keep up uh, and do- try to make sure that he's directing everyone else behind him over safe terrain. Uh, uh, it's all just water. There is, it doesn't look like there's any difference of terrain. It's just all water. Right, but you know, he's going to keep an eye out for like any natural uh, hazards. All right. Who's behind Druk? Uh, I'll, I'll stay with Druk. Um, try to give guidance where I can. 
you will have to do be behind direct because the the way this is all spaced out in here, you can't be side by yeah. side. Okay. Yeah. Who's behind I'll Kenna? Help Oh, go I don't know. behind Ken, I guess. Alright, who's behind Dax? But um, he's gonna be in the air on the carpet. Yeah. Unless uh, so Ven he's gonna be would like rather be in front of Dax so she can just protect the butt end. That's probably a good idea, actually. Yeah, Ven will be Ven will be also on the carpet, too, yeah. Okay, so that doesn't matter then for marching order then, really. Alright, so Ven and Flitz on the carpet. Cool. Mm -hmm. Coin. Since you're leading yep. the group, survival check, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Survival check. Uh... Oh, I see it now. Got it. With advantage, because you're technically following the ping of your... All right. Uh, so, 14. 14! Alright. You move ahead an hour without getting lost. For the second hour of travel, roll me another survival check. With advantage because you have this sort of compass on your person that's going bink, bink, pointing north. Alright. 15. Alright, you avoid getting lost. On the second hour, and on the second hour... You find dry ground and greenery, like lush greenery, which is weird for this environment. Um, there's like a small little boreal forest that's kind of grown in this region of the swamp. Um, and it is formed into a labyrinth of what appears to be thorned thickets. Uh, the thickets are about 60 feet tall, nearly reaching the tops of these trees. Um, and are covered in long sword sized serrated thorns and the thickets appear to be losing a little bit of the greenery and coin would know this for sure Flitz would know this Ven would know this because of school um, it looks like this region of the forest is dying and it was the dragon's lair so when dragons die the region around their lair begins to their lair region basically begins to die out um, it does look like you can move through the thickets if you want and not go through the maze, but it would be painful because they are long sort of side sized thorns. Um, there is a simple arched doorway about 40 feet across and 55 feet tall, directly ahead, and you can see corpses of humanoids impaled under some of the thorns and ensnared within the thickets, impossible to remove. Um, you can also see the top of the labyrinth, labyrinth Sorry, is covered by more thorned thickets on top, making it impossible to fly over and get into from above. Um, and you get a feeling it's been designed to be walked through and to get lost inside. Um, however, a small canary lands on a branch about 30 feet from the entrance and looks down at you all hap and happily starts singing before <laughs> fluttering away. And the orb, <gasps> and the orb fragment like freaks. <laughs> and the orb fragment pings once more, pointing into the thickets. Flitz is gonna call after it if he can. <laughs> It just keeps flying away. <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> it's not a hawk swoops down? No. <laughs> no! I'll just blast that bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you come across this labyrinth of thickets and the orb fragment pings leading into the thickets. Oh. Uh <clears throat> is it so it's solid ground, right? Sorry. Yeah, you're back on like dirt and grass. It's like this small little forest grew up out of the swamp. Mark's going to take a moment to like check his fur and oh, you're all make sure all. With, you're all filled with leeches. Yeah. He's just gonna, all gonna, gonna, everybody's just going to do some maintenance. Yeah, everybody yeah. else has got like. You know what? Some I'm going to roll for this because this is fun. Uh, Ven and Flitz are clean. Kenna, you have 13 liches. Leeches. Just Le uh, bah, leeches. Bah, bah. Uh, no, uh, Kenna, you have 13 leeches just everywhere. Uh, could I have been trying to pick them off as we walked? It would have been pointless until you got on dry land. Oh, they okay. Just would have, there would just, there's gotcha. so much in the water, yeah. Coin! You were flying, so never mind. Dax. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, 28. 
delicious. Ease. Druck, you might actually be a little safer because you got all this fur. Yeah. Three. <laughs> Most of what's stuck in Druck is just swamp detritus. And three leeches uh, that have found, like, bare skin. Yeah, that makes sense. You're just, uh, he's gonna... you're just like, twigs and mud and branches and like leaves yeah. and he's not gonna worry about that natural stuff but he's gonna he's gonna pick out the leeches and then help dax All right. and leave yeah. everything else in there it's good camo okay yeah let's all it oh, stinks for, for sure he's gonna prejudicate a little bit okay Dr drug looks like he's wearing a ghillie suit <laughs> yeah and smells like swamp if you yeah Everyone it smells like a ghillie suit too. <laughs> we'll worry about it when we have to share a bedroom. It's um, fine. but yeah, the, <laughs> the the sphere just pings into the fragment, just pings into the thicket maze. I'm gonna get. I want to. Uh, Coin would want to help everyone get comfortable and then kind of talk about. All right, so we're going into this uh, maze, and that's it is. Um, listen, I would like to. It'd be great if I could just lie to you and say this is going to be easy, but it is a lair of a one of a dragon of that specific trash color is also um, uh, been told that they are specifically devious, so we'll want to keep our wits about us for you would actually know traps. that if the dragon's dead the lair is most likely relatively Inner. safe oh okay yeah. but most likely <laughs> Flitz's ace fireball will have <laughs> rendered the lair inert but keep keep the you know Are you going to be leading us again, Coin, to this? I mean, I think if if we need our best ice forward, since we have passed through most of the nasty swamp, if Druk has no objections, can I? What do you... Uh, DM, how alive do these plants look? On the verge of, like, dying. They'll die, they'll be fully dead within, looking at it, you know, you being an expert in vegetation. Yeah. Uh... Uh -huh. These pl these thickets will die in about five days, like completely be dead and gone in five days. Like this forest cool. will be dead and gone in five days. All right, so coin, um, I can probably talk our way through this hedge maze. I trust you completely. Uh, so like, I'll ask like which directions we want to go to get to the. Fastest route to the front of the cave? Or the lair? That sounds like some kick-ass nature magic stuff. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Yeah. That is amazing. As and as again as as the mouth of the Faust and the Furious, this this is fantastic. And like in five days or so, I can cast speak with dead and speak with plants, so it'll still work. <laughs> the plants yeah, will be dead I... in five days, so that's why. Use this. You could use this. Um, he's gonna hand the talisman if, if they get a little, you know, apprehensive with the your right, tone. Right. Maybe right. you can use that as a boost to, uh, you know, a little yeah. influence. All right. So you can when you make if you fail an ability check, you can roll a d4. So it's a like okay. guidance if you fail. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Dax, can I help get some of the leeches off of your calf? Yeah, Dr Drucker's Dr Dr helping as well. Yeah. By all means, coin, join the yeah, party. They're swollen and in here. <laughs> I want to start like it. frostbiting. Yeah, yeah for like, for, like it was a two hour walk, so a lot of these leeches are just swollen. Yeah. Coin is going to take out the. Uh, good good eating. The, the. Lots of protein. The brazier. And light it and start like kind of. Oh yeah, they would a, immediately a start hot... just like. Oh, I can! I freaking off. produce flame. Just like hold it up to each other. Yeah, they just start like. This is gonna off. put. Some of them do land in the brazier and just like, and they. Yeah. They like burst. Little two hundred percent because leeches are small beasts. 
So he's gonna have his hands oh, yeah. in his ears like this. <laughs> Flips you just hear the As screaming in agony. Just murder ah, these fuck. little leeches. Plucking ah, them was okay, ah, but as they were being ah, and then like destroyed, at the end you, of you just Nightmare you Before hear Christmas. hear each one scream Ooh. as they like burn, and and then the screaming is cut short when they pop. You don't have to cast speak with animals. You can no, drop no, it. No, it's like the type, the type he naturally is, does it. Just the type of gnome. Just, I can just, yeah. I can, yeah, just just essentially speak with uh, small beasts. So yeah, it's like, I can hear it. Like yeah, <laughs> um, essentially a Disney uh, but you can. <laughs> I had dreams and political views <laughs> and a family. But, uh, ah! Okay, well, all the leeches, go. all the leeches are cleaned Too away. <laughs> speak with plants. Okay, you're gonna talk to the thickets. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the thickets in the head. Yeah. Okay, they're dying over the course of five days, so they're just like. Ah, ah, um. Hey, friends. Ah, I, I know it's a rough time right now. You're going through a bit of a rush pet. Rush just put us out of our misery. Um. Fire. You want me to just burn you down? Yeah. Ah, all the agony. Are you, are you absolutely sure? I can just cut you Fucking up. do it! Alright, I guess produce flame and start burning thickets. Okay, they're vulnerable to fire damage. You just start burning holes through the thickets, and the thickets start to, like, catch. You just... They told me to! They I, wanted... Do we believe, Kenna? And you hear... <laughs> Kenna, you, Kenna, you hear the thickets... You hear the thickets say, Sweet release. <laughs> <laughs> and the thickets just catch and just, they're, dry, they're starting to dry out, so they just catch. And it is on the yeah. verge of a wildfire, but it's a swamp, no, so the this, fire. No, this is like a long co controlled burn territory. Yeah, but also like... it's a swamp, so the fire doesn't get into the water. Just poof, and then yeah. the thickets are all within the ma a matter of let's say like five minutes. The all this the thicket maze is just ashes. Mm. I'm gonna start casting gentle repose on the thicket because it's what they deserve. <laughs> It has no effect, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's now it's just a it's just now it's just a dirt mound with some patches of grass, a little bit of ash, and you can see what looks like a hole about sixty feet away. So so much for talking our way through the hedge maze. Here's your drink. Uh, here's your uh, talisman back, Blitz. Got it. <laughs> I hope it helps. It's a good thing Blitz's ears were plugged though. Yeah. Because there were yeah. probably like little rodents in there. Yeah. He's like, Flint is not being a headspace right now. But yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, 60 Blitz. feet ahead, you can just see what looks like a pretty sizable hole in the ground. All, all right. Uh, last one to the hole is the uncle of a knoll. Coin runs off. What are we, where are we going? I'm all I'm right. going to the hole. All right, all right. Fine. Coin. That's uh, that's, that's, that's where the, that's the pinging. Yeah, that's, that's where the yeah. pinging from. Oh, okay. As you get there for everybody else, uh, you look down this hole. Do you look down the hole? Yeah. It's an 120 foot drop into what appears to be a flooded underground cavern. Colorful moss glows along the walls and emits a dull green glow. Clouds of green spores no longer float through the air. Are there any sizable stones around no, here? No, it's a straight any... drop. Hmm. But your drag, draconic eyes see the water's deep enough that it's not going to hurt anybody. Yeah, I... Also just... Wait, how, how wide is it? Ten feet radius hole. Which is you weird. just take the this carpet is, This is not the dragon's entrance. <clears throat> Yeah. Right. I, I am not concerned for me, but I was just thinking of how we would get out, and I'd forgotten we had a magic carpet. Just methods carpet. to get out, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... Oh, and you can also see, like, skeletons and, like, half-eaten corpses of animals floating through the water. Like, the dragon. This is where the dragon is probably taking wild game. And uh, you don't see any farm animals in the corpses, just wild game. Meaning the dragon is not the one responsible. You can put together the dragon wasn't the one responsible right. for stealing. It was the rock then. So it's a good thing we got pieces of the rock because that was what the bounty was for. 
This is specifically or maybe a constant <laughs> stomach contents would be a good idea too. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you're standing above the hole. Found. All right. Uh, well, I'm going down in this hole, and I can fly. So. <clears throat> you can also fly some folks down. Uh, I can wild shape. Uh, since we rested while we were chasing the dragon. So uh, I can fly some folks down, or even like you know crawl on my back, because I can also turn into a lizard. But yeah, I, I can fly as well, so you don't have to worry about me. And we also have the carpet. I think the carpet can handle everyone. For just the fine, sake of brevity, everyone get in the hole safely. Woo! Yeah. No need to figure it out. Yay. It's a ten, yeah, ten minutes. You're level eleven. We're smart enough. <laughs> yeah. We're smart enough, baby. It'd be, it'd be a little more difficult. <laughs> you need to think Please. a little more if the dragon was in here Goldfish. and still alive, but the dragon is dead, yeah. so you can all easily get into the lair. Uh, the water is like 13 feet deep for anyone who's swimming. Uh, this whole place is dimly lit by this colorful, dull green moss that this emanates light, like bioluminescent moss. Uh, and yeah, like in the water, it's just skeletons of deer, boar, elk, some bears, mountain lion, Ven. Ven's corpse is floating in here for some reason. Why? No, that's a joke. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is. Can Flitz like fly over, drift over to the moss? Yeah. Uh, could he like try to. Get with his little dagger, can he like scrape like a small little piece off? Yeah, like, sure. cut a little. Your dagger square. takes uh, one point of acid damage as this moss is acidic. So your dagger takes a negative one know. penalty to the damage it deals. I think I use these. <laughs> Actually, no, it's, it's, just a, it's just a mundane dagger, so the blade just kind of corrodes away. Yeah. So you cut it, you cut it in the moss, and it just the blade just turns into liquid and falls into the water. Don't touch the moss. It's not a. Uh, it's not Acid. good. All right. Yes. Yeah, got that person. Yes. Right. So no more dagger. <laughs> I just had to buy a new one. All right. All right. Sorry. I just was seeing if we can collect some of the glow moss, but I guess not. Okay. Right. Truck will toss you one of his daggers. <gasps> okay. Coin, you can easily lead the group through this underground water-filled lair. Uh, and eventually, you come across a horde. And it is immense and bur- and... Oh, and the horde is buried among piles of towering gold. Uh, in the center of the horde, not touching anything is a large mirror made from infernal iron. So it's kind of like got this like bluish red tinge to it, kind of like it's rusted almost. Uh, and that stands about 15 feet tall and 10 feet wide. The metal has been warped and twisted into the symbol of Tiamat at each of the mirror's corners. Uh, and the glass itself is completely transparent. Uh, sitting in a small nest of from gold coins is a fragment of the platinum orb. However, also in the hoard is, bear with me here, for the sake of time, if anyone wants to take gold, each of you can get 11,341 gold. Wow! It'll take a couple hours to get all the loot, because it's a lot. So just mm -hmm. saying. I'll post all this in the Discord as well. So you don't need to write anything down. Okay, okay. okay. Cool. But for gold, well, like, I'm sitting here like... <laughs> is yeah. everyone taking their full amount that they can get for gold? Yes. Okay, that'll take like two hours to do. So you each get 11,341 gold. Thanks to Fizzband's what's in a horde mechanics they have now. Uh, and again, I'll post all this in the group chat so you guys can go over it uh, off stream because it's a lot to go over. Uh, yeah. A small wooden statuette of Tiamat covered in mossy growth. I don't think anybody would want that. Um, a crude flute made from bone. Uh, if anyone picks it up to play it, play it. It has a very pleasing sound to it. Um Several embroidered throw pillows depicting green dragon wormlings. Uh, a stuffed taxidermy owl bear. So just a full on taxidermy owl bear. Um, confused. <laughs> an hourglass filled with sparkling sand. 
like a bluish sand. Um, a stuffed taxidermy lizard-like creature with six legs and blue hide, a basilisk. Um, a painting of this green dragon that you killed sprawled out on top of its horde. Basically, Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park. Uh, nice. A scroll containing a long, poorly written poem about the dragon. A stuffed taxidermy brown bear. There's lots of taxidermy. A clawfoot bathtub made entirely of gold. So, hey, you got extra furniture for your tower. You got a bathtub now. <clears throat> Ooh. Uh, 19 assorted gems worth a total of 190 gold. A string of humanoid skulls riddled with too many eye sockets, their jaws replaced by carved gemstones. That's worth 50 gold pieces. Uh, the baby teeth of what appears to be a human, preserved in amber, and furred with a golden fungus that smells like gingerbread. A harp, its pillar carved to resemble a beautiful elf who weeps loudly and inconsolably. 35 gold pieces. A marble statue that once showed a knight vanquishing a dragon, but due to strategic damage, now looks like a knight tumbling into its massive jaws. 50 gold pieces and weighs 600 pounds. <laughs> Look, furniture for your fortress. Uh, or, or your house. So we have to set it up every or your night. house in <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, a That's stained glass good. window set within a fragment of wall depicting the many del deaths of an elf monarch. The polished skull of a unicorn, lattice with luminescent blooms, worth 150 gold pieces. Like I said, it's a lot. Adult dragons, their hordes are immense. Uh, an elaborate necklace made of snake fangs, set with gleaming gems and dripping with strands of pearls, worth 300 gold pieces. A gold ring set with silver tufts holding a... Or, sorry. A gold ring set with silver hands holding a tuft of gold like this. Ven and Flitz, you can tell an aura of arcane emanates a little bit from it. Ooh, okay. uh, an incredibly sharp scimitar made from the tooth of a metallic dragon. Ooh. An arcane aura emanates from that as well. Um, a pewter figurine of a jagged castle that seems to float on its own. And upon inspection is covered in what looks like little switches. Also, arcane aura to it. And finally, the fragmented piece of the orb. And that uh, flute, let me guess, it was made from child bones. Child Just looks like it's made bones. from bone. Can't really tell. Yes, the bones of children. There are teeth and now bones of children that are scattered all over this hoard. This was a particularly nasty dragon who was hmm. this is a bad one I'd like to adjoin the two pieces of sphere and see if they align at all uh, they kind of meld together oh. so yeah, you kind of like just as soon as you bring them together, they just kind of magically just connect and then seal together. But no, like there's no like effect or anything that happens. They just connect. But the loot has been posted in the Discord. There are magical items that can be identified if they so choose. There are three total. Like I said, there's a lot you of stuff. You know I will. Okay, what are you going for first? Ring, uh, sword, or the floating, weird little floating castle figurine. Let's go with the castle figurine. Okay, you cast identify on it. Mm -hmm. Identify doesn't work. Interesting. But with your inspection, you can see it's covered in little switches. Hmm. Well, we will have to test that outdoors and safely. Uh, then sword. Okay. This is a scimitar of sharpness. Mm. Very rare. Very rare. Requires attunement. Uh, when you attack an object with this ma magic sword and hit, mac maximize your weapon damage against the target. Hmm. Uh, when you attack a creature with this weapon, roll a twenty on the at and roll a twenty on the attack roll. The target takes an extra fourteen slashing damage. Then, hmm. roll another d twenty. If you roll a twenty, you lop off one of the target's limbs, not head, hmm. limbs, so arms or legs. 
With the effect uh. of such loss determined by the GM. Because the head is... Yeah, if the creature has no limb to sever, you lop off a portion of its body instead. Hmm. Uh, in addition, you can speak the sword's command word to cause the blade to shed bright light in a 10-foot radius and dim light for an additional 10 feet. Speaking the command word again, or sheathing the sword puts out the light. Gotcha. The scimitar of sharpness made from a dra me metallic dragon's tooth. Hmm. And that would leave the ring. Let's check the ring. Ring of telekinesis. Ooh. Very rare. Requires attunement. While wearing this ring, you can cast a telekinesis spell at will, but you can only target objects that aren't being worn or carried. Oh, so it's only objects? Oh, wait. Yeah. While wearing this ring, you can cast a telekinesis spell at will, but you can target only objects that aren't being worn or carried. Yep. Yeah. It can only counter out. It can only. Yeah. It can't. So you can only use it to move things. Yeah. That's. Those, those are those things. Uh. Like I said, three magic items in this horde. The rest of it is mundane. But yeah, then you find that there's like this little pewter castle statue with you can see a red switch, a blue switch, a gold switch, an orange switch, a green switch, and a gray switch. Because your arcane skill is very high, so you can actually detect every single switch without having to make a check. Oh, okay. This baffles me. We should study it. Um, this ring allows you to move things with your mind. If no one else wants it, I will happily take it. And this sword is incredibly sharp and will hack through objects with ease and could pass, possibly remove limbs from a person. And, uh, coin, I will leave it entirely up to you as whether or not this sword should receive use. It appears to be made from the Tooth of Metallic Dragon, so if you are not comfortable with such a thing being used, uh, then I entirely understand. I think that us acting on behalf of those dragons if the tooth is already gone I mean uh, unless you, uh, hold on I, I have not asked does anyone here are you familiar with uh, dragon orthopedics like orthodontia <laughs> actually no 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 um. I think back on when I was taking that red dragon apart. No. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just saying, I don't... I wouldn't say you're familiar with the orthodontics of dragons. So I don't think that we could um, put it back. Right. Oh, and as they say... Mention, sorry uh, for the oh. interruption. Uh, arcane aura on that mirror as well. Oh, okay. That'll be nice. Right. So that is, I think this would be... But it's like a potent, not good aura. Yeah, and I think would you, would you remember identify you have to touch the thing to do identify. Uh, um, so I think uh, this specific weapon it would be great for any one of us to use. <laughs> I also am in favor of tossing it very swiftly into that horrible mirror over there and trying to um, break it apart that mirror or vessel or whatever that thing that has Tiamat on it but I don't think any of us should <laughs> specifically touch that Mirror. Getting a similar sense. I think that's a good. Uh, well, mm. it's like mm. artifact levels of arcane aura coming from that mirror. Ooh. This is eyeballing the book out of that hourglass. It's just normal hourglass, blue sand in it. <laughs> Fits his aesthetic, though. Oh, you said blue. You take it. You it take sold it. me immediately. Little hourglass. Uh, the... Yeah, he'll take it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any. Um bad aura coming off of that flute? Identify would not reveal that. Um, or does it just seem pretty chill? Nothing. The flute seems just like a flute. I don't think there's any magic about the flute. Would anybody mind if I took the flute? No. No. Nope. As far as I have in, I, yeah. And you see Dax like kind of like take the flute and you see her kind of like half smile for realizing she does and she like drops it she just puts it back in her bag okay so what's what's coin doing with this 
scimitar. It just seems like the choice has been put up, up to you whether the party uses it or not. Uh, if anyone would like to use this scimitar, I'm sure it is an acceptable use of a piece of uh, dragon. If it makes anyone uncomfortable, I can certainly meditate on it and see. Um, biggest thing, though, I really want to throw something through that horrible mirror and smash it. Um, do we have any of us gazed into the mirror? Uh, it's like, the glass in the mirror is completely transparent, just completely see through. So we can see through to the other side. Yeah. Okay. So it's more like a window, really. Yeah, but it's 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 shaped and designed like a mirror. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could, you know, I can shoot things at it. That that sword actually looks like I might be able to use it with some proficiency. Oh yes. Uh, well then hands him the sword very carefully. Okay. You're made from a... It's made. You're looking at it, it's very similar to a fang that you had previously. So it is mm. a, made from a silver dragon tooth. And it was definitely taken out of the dragon not in a nice way. The way, like, upon inspection, it would have seemed like this green dragon probably tore it from its maw after killing it. Well, uh, it doesn't look like it... Okay, it does require two. Okay, cool. Yep. So yeah, there's right. yeah. So yeah, Ben's got yeah. You got your floating castle. You got your ring. Ben's taking the ring. Mm -hmm. uh, if no one else, I mean, I makes sense for Ben. Anyone else want it? it. Mm -hmm. All right. And yeah, just the mirror that coin coin keeps talking about wanting to destroy this mirror. Can Flit try to like sneak one of those throw pillows? Slight a hand check. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, little character it's just a throw pillow with a green wormling on it. Those yeah, are those are baby you know, dragons. Whole, like, those are baby dragons, though. Green, green dragon yeah, vibes. Baby dragons. Uh, wait, oh, it, oh, nothing's that born looks inherently wonky. evil. Fifteen. Evil is uh, he, yeah, he's just trying to try to like fifteen. He, yeah, the whole vibe that everybody kind of gives. He's kind of just kind of like okay, and he's just gonna put it into the okay uh, model. The only ones that see you grab the pillow is Dax, Kenna, and Druk. He's just kind of like looking at some of the pillows and he just looks around and picks one up and puts it into the... Yeah, you have an embroidered throw pillow that's got <laughs> embroidered with the images of green dragon wormlings. Baby green dragons. Yeah, these are being... The, the gold, all his gold that he pulled up and all that is just being like vacuumed. Recommended because the... that coin weight's going to be nuts. Yeah. Telepathically to flits. Dax is just, you just see Dax like looking towards you and you just hear it in your mind. Is that going to make a good addition for your bottle? In his head, he'll think yes, but I don't know if Dax can hear that. Can't. It's a one way thing. <laughs> he'll, yes. He'll think that in his head, but <laughs> kind of give Dax a nod. All right. Actually, Ven, uh, the Identify spell would have revealed that this little keep can conjure things. Like, it's got conjuration auras to it, as well as, yeah, conjuration magic emanates from it. Interesting. Yes, we should definitely test this outside. Uh, anything else before you leave the lair? Like I said, we'll do all the loot stuff after the session, because there's a lot to go through, and nobody uh... wants to watch that. Nobody wants to watch what? People go through, like, spend an hour digging through loot, so. yeah. That's fair. Just doing the things um, that would be important yeah. if anybody was going to object. Yeah. You know? Uh. If no one objects to it, I'm going to destroy the mirror, this window, this. I'm I'm going to destroy it. Right. Before we do, can I ask why? What's going on? I mean, you said that there was, what, a bad vibe with it? You can all see Tiamat's symbol carved into the corners of the mirror. Right. And it's made of infernal iron. So, I guess... Would there be not something to learn? I mean, what is... 
worth learning from something that is evil? It's evil plants. Yes, but if it is good, it's not worth having. And if it is bad, what's the point? And also, it could lie. Oh, I'm not saying we... Nothing, not nothing good comes from trash dragons. Hmm. Sounds like meat and stuff that you can stop. We'll see. Hopefully some of the stuff we've got will help us fight the rest. But your point has been made. Yes, we should then destroy this this thing. And he'll uh, fire crossbow bolt at it. Oh, okay. okay. The mirror shatters. Oh, wow. That's as it was mean. a magical crossbow. And as oh. it shatters, it explodes in a flash of dragon's breath of all types of dragons. I need everybody to make const- uh, dexterity saving throws. DC 20. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, do we get coins bonus? Uh, everybody would, yeah. So plus one to everybody. Okay. Uh, coin, Sorry. you get advantage on this because it's second play breath weapon. What was, sorry, what was the same thing? DC again? 20 deck save, please. As this artifact oh, explodes. Oh, fuck. T- I did not have high hopes. I did not have high hopes, but... 21. So fucking close. Ven oh succeeds, God. so that's going to be half damage to Ven for all of these breath weapons that go off at once. Oh, God. All right, so we're going to go one by one. Uh, Ven, you got 21? Yep. Okay, so you take... Uh, I'm, I'm going to have it for you, so just all these numbers are halved already. Uh, seven fire damage. Okay. Let me just put my character in here. What? Uh... Seven cold. Okay. Which you have because you're resistant. Uh, oh, yeah. So three cold. Yep. Uh, four lightning. Okay. Eight acid. Okay. Eight poison. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use the fire was the first one, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna Ben would also cast absorb elements as a yeah, reaction as well, and but that'll only since since these are all separate yeah. these are all considered separate attacks Correct. right so it'll only have the fire damage yeah one element yep so that'll actually be three for that one okay twenty three points of damage all right okay That's still up. Good, so good thing I took a short rest all right uh, Kenna I got a sixteen with coins bonus okay so. Oh shit, I should have tracked those numbers down. Oh, I'm gonna re-roll for everybody. It's separate for everybody. Okay. Just because it's a lot to roll. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, what'd you get on your save, by the way? 16. Okay, cool. Uh, it doesn't fill by five or more, which is good for this. Uh, you take seven fire damage. Thirteen cold. Fourteen lightning. Sixteen acid. Oh wow, almost full max on that one. And twenty-two poison, but because of your belt, that's reduced to eleven. Okay. Seven plus thirteen plus fourteen plus sixteen plus eleven. Oh, oh thank goodness for the belt, because I would have been unconscious. Good to know. Oh. Uh, coin, what'd you get? Uh, I rolled a, I got a twenty-four. All right, so you're gonna have all of this damage as well. Uh, so I'm going to have this all for you, so whatever I say is what you take. Uh, ten fire damage. Which actually is half because so I have fire f- resistance. Five fire damage. Uh, 
Uh, math hard. Seven cold damage. Six lightning. Six acid. Uh, six poison. Thirty total. Let's go with flits next. What'd you get? Eight. Eight or nineteen. Oh, they said eight. I was gonna say. Oh no. Wow. Oh. Okay. So it felt about one. You take. Did you add the plus one from Coin Zora? Yeah. Okay. I, I felt it by one. Yeah. Nineteen fire. Six cold. Reduced to three to half because of my ring. So three. Sixteen lightning. Eight acid. Nineteen poison. No. Flitz is kiss and dust door. Okay. Right like, there. All right. Drug. If I would have not have been resistant to cold, I would have been unconscious. I have two hit points mm -hmm. left. All right, Drug, what you get? Same, bro. Drug, what you get? One hand. Uh, your friendly neighborhood rogue rolled a two. Ooh. Uh, for a total for a total of twelve. Roll a d roll a Constitution saving throw to see, and pick a if you fail, pick a limb you're not attached to. Like a limb that you're least attached to. Thirteen. Thirteen. Pick a limb you're not attached to. Left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, it takes two hands to wield a crossbow, and uh, I kind of need my legs. Left so... arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. Uh, oh, no. I guess left arm. Vaporize in the explosion. Uh, but because of evasion, you're going to take half for all of these anyway, so... Uh, six fire damage. I'm giving you the half totals, so six fire damage. All right, and I have that by again to three because I have resistant fire. Okay. Seven cold. Okay. Six lightning. Three acid. Seven poison. And then Dax, what'd you get? Um, this big beefy goddess over here got an eleven. Eleven. Roll a Constitution saving throw. Plus one because plus one because of coins aura. Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay, you keep your limbs. Oh, good. We're not having a round two. <laughs> okay, so you take the full. You might still have this. that left-handed hand. Yeah, you do. No, I gave that to the prince. Remember? Oh, that's right. Because he lost his arm. Uh, yeah. Thirteen fire damage. Love that. Uh, 14 cold, but you're resistant, so 7. 14 lightning. Ouch. 19 acid. Ouch! Okay, now I spoke too soon. That, that hurt. 9 poison. Of which I'm resistant to. So, so, 4. 4. And yeah, mirror explodes. All that happens, and then the explosion settles. Just what the fuck? And oh my Drug's god! left flips. arm is just vaporized. Do are we talking? Druck is like 
on the ground. Like no arm length. Kind of like there's like, a, oh, up to the shoulder. All the way, oh, all the way to the yeah, shoulder. Yeah, Druk is fucking shrieking in pain. Just on the ground. Oh, oh. Good heavens. Uh, Ven's gonna rush over to Druk and he's gonna do his best. Uh, his best is gonna be heal on the on the stump. Like, okay. on like him. Alright, so 70 hit points. Just boom. Actually, 70... It's like 78 or something because of the stuff. All right. I think... Let me double check. I don't remember how... But yes. Uh, oh yeah, 2 plus... 78. Alright. The mirror is gone. Uh, just shards of molten metal just sizzling away in places. Uh, I'm gonna cast Mass Cure Wounds for everybody. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, up to six creatures. Uh, so that is 3d8 plus six. Ah, oh, come on! Uh, 14 hit points. Uh, One. yeah. And Through the extremes of, like, the pain of losing the arm and then it, you know, and the healing that happened the shock of all of that stuff, Drux passed out. Okay. The rest of you watch as a draconic looking limb replaces the arm that Drux lost. What color? Drux, roll a D... D5? Digital dice? Or, just... or, or D10 what... every two? Yeah, roll a, D, roll a D10. Or what kind of metal? No, roll a D10. Not necessarily color. <laughs> Not necessarily just color. Two. Red dragon. Fuck. Uh, can I? So, uh, 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 I'm gonna go uh, lay on hands that arm. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. Great. Uh, and try and. Uh, pray over my friend Druk and try and tourniquet the <laughs> the creep of any... There's no like it's not like there's no corruption or anything it's just a new arm grew out of the stump covered in red dragon scales yeah and claws at the end I assume yeah Wait, wait, oh my point, god, point, you, see, point. you see 3PO in Force Awakens. Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's point, what point, happened to 3PO. Coin, coin. Coin, coin. Druck is now just C3PO. Tourniquet. <laughs> tourniquets, tourniquets, restrict blood flow. That might make the deed. It, it, it's it's it, still I'm, his arm. Yeah, I'm more just checking. Like, there's, okay. it's, it, yeah, just, it, I, I'm not like. Here, I'm sending you the mechanics for that. Tourniquets. So. You get another five points of healing from Lay on Hands. Uh, is everyone all right? <sighs> this is like laid, laid out. See, there's physically it's... nothing wrong with Druck anymore. He's like topped up on hit points, everything. Okay. Yeah. But he's still passed out, breathing heavy, and sweating. We gotta get out of here somehow. See what's going on with Druk. Uh, I'm gonna go over to uh, to Flitz uh -huh. and uh, use the uh, uh, oh my god, sorry. I have an action. I'm going to use the uh, cure wounds from the gift of the metallic dragon. Okay. So that's gonna put uh, four more points of healing into Flitz. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm at twenty. <laughs> gonna get up. Thank you. Thank you. And as oh, all yeah. this is happening, uh, it seems whatever forces 
recognize the sphere that you just restored, Coin, a flash of platinum light bursts out of it, and everyone gains the benefits of a long rest. Oh, well. Because that happened last time, too. Does that include changing out spells? No, just the benefits, like healing and stuff. Okay. okay. Not like you can pick all your spells again, no. What? Exhaustion goes away. Oh, wait. What is yeah, that? exhaustion goes away. Uh, can I attempt... Oh, I don't have Greater Restoration prepared. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything until tomorrow. You also need the components for Greater Restoration. I, I don't have components. Regardless, Ben's got components. The horde has been picked through. <laughs> uh, Druck is still unconscious. Uh, um, passed out. Um, yeah, I guess we'll get the magic carpet out like a gurney. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, get him. It's on up there. to Druck if Druck awakes to the jostling or not. Okay. Yeah, we'll all help get him up on the carpet, fly him out. All right. Well, let's all sit at Druck's head and like get his water skin and some like, because he's one of the lightest, uh, and he's gonna like put a cool compress on Druck's head. So essentially, he could just cool the water to keep because he's sweating. You said he's like he looks, yeah, like he. Blacked out. And also, so, yeah, the dragon arm uh, is the same length as Druk's previous arm was, so that none of that changed. Like gangly. Yeah, bugbear arm, but <laughs> draconic. Yeah. Ooh. He'll start. Um... Yeah. So basically, just for like fun mechanic stuff, depending on the limb you picked, you would have gotten some fun stuff. Anyways, I guess we'll see what happens. He'll start um... humming as the carpet is lifted, and they're doing whatever. He's not really focused on that. He's like in mother hen mode a bit. Uh, but he'll okay. start humming like a gnomish, something he learned in Hollyshire forever ago. Uh, just trying to keep Druk's mind, hopefully, whatever turmoil, if there's any in there, to try to like mellow right. it out a little bit. All right. So that's what he'll be doing. Uh, you will successfully get out of the lair on the flying carpet. So it's, it's slow moving, but you get out. Mm -hmm. Can I start? Casting detect magics, specifically focusing on Druk's arm. Sure. All right. Uh, ritual ten minutes, eleven minutes. All right. Anyone else doing anything during those eleven minutes? Looking at the castle. What are you doing? Um. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to tamper with any more magic items while we've got someone unconscious. So uh, I'm gonna hold off on that. Okay. Good. Probably a good idea. Caution. Uh, detect magic doesn't reveal anything. Okay. Magic global. It's weird because you can't really detect innate magic inside creatures, yeah. so it doesn't ping anything. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Would Van cast identify on the arm to see if there's anything fucky going on with Druk? Oh, that's right, because it, it, yeah, uh, it tells you that's if there's right, anything afflicting the person. I forgot about that. Yes, I would actually. At, then, yes, during that okay. 11 minutes, okay. I would also be casting identify. Weirdly enough, no negative benefits to having this arm. It's negative just a benefits? Weird, it's just a weird byproduct uh, and I mm -hmm. believe it would show you the mechanics of the arm probably probably okay let me double check yeah uh, you learn what spells if any are currently okay. affecting it so it's not so, a spell actually uh, you don't detect it's you don't detect anything negative from it okay yeah. well there's nothing inherently negative that I can identify aside from you know yeah. What, uh, what, the... uh, uh, there's a lot that happened all at once. What, uh, what was the end? What happened at the very end? That's, uh, I feel good about it, I think, but uh, that platinum explosion or something, is that normal? The, the platinum explosion was a uh, blessing of Bahamut. So I guess the platinum lining to this chromatic storm cloud as it were. 
And you know what? Uh, yeah, if there was any like corruption from getting that arm, it looks like whatever that surgery with Bahamut did probably mm. cured whatever negatives were there were to that. And now it's just a cool mm. dragon arm. He is the alternative. It's something else. He's gonna put his fingers over Druk's little nose to make sure that he's still breathing. And if it's like a, is it like a... It's very obvious that he's breathing. He's still breathing heavy, like... Okay, so it's like a full, okay. Uh, yeah, he'll just like keep it, on. Like someone who's in a fever and is just like kind of almost delirious. Yeah. He'll, um... he'll, uh... Oh, I don't have anything mechanically that I can really do. Um... Could I try to use my herbalism kit in an attempt to bring his fever down? Yeah, sure. Make a medicine check. I'll assist her with advantage. Cold compressing, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's bringing a fever down. It's a pretty low DC. It was a nat 1 and a nat 20 for a total of 30. Nice. Oh, drugs fever is gone, like, immediately. All right, You've dealt cool. with people having fevers from like being poisoned and other things. This doesn't. Mm -hmm. it's, this isn't like that kind of fever. But yeah, you can easily bring Druk out of the fever. Okay, yeah. it's something that I can treat. Cool. Yeah. You guys would probably gather that it's like his body adapting. Okay. Like Druk. It, 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 yeah, it feels like Druk's just running hot. Mm. Okay. Because mm. it's red. Yeah, like, um, like I said, with your medicine, and then with the natural 20, 30 medicine check, yeah. this arm is not causing Druk any negative effects okay. or benefits. I mean, he, he'll be fine for now. I think he just needs to rest. His body just needs to get used to it. What it looks like. It doesn't Maybe. want more people to lose limbs. Can we go back to... Point save me. I, I rolled a 15. Can we go back to the city now? Yeah, we... Keep Druk on the carpet, but we gotta keep making progress. Right. Yeah. Check on so the... Still going north? Yeah, okay. <sighs> gotta find the road first. Be real difficult without drug. Just a heads up, it would be quicker to do a tree travel via plants and get to, Back to the road. a for the the forests just outside of Ranmore and then take like a less than a day trip to Argent, if that's what you're planning on doing. I'll bring that up as an option because I know that we wanted to avoid Varanmore for... Yeah, but you don't have to directly go into Varanmore because you were all yeah. outside of the city for... Because you saw trees outside of the city. You don't need mm -hmm. to go into the city. Yeah. I mean, if Druk needs help, I can take us to Varanmore. And it would only be like a 10-mile trek instead That's of less than, a lot. Less than a day to Argent from there. And what uh, business did we have in Argent? Uh, Argent is uh, where the contract was sourced out of. Um, and I was also hoping to find someone out there, possibly, while we were in the area. This, this, this was in the journal, right? Okay, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, old boy, right? Yeah. yeah. Pops. Pops it right there. Okay, okay. Just sorry. Player to player. I'm just making sure that's, that's what I'm remembering. Okay. Also, for everyone, Kenna has shared their journal with the whole party for those who want to read it. Okay. It's somewhere oh, okay. in the group chat. Yeah. Yeah. If you need it, I will send it. Uh... So this is going to kind of be out of it for right now. I mean, he's really not making decisions because he also... <laughs> Yeah, he's been facing a lot of life, okay. <laughs> life almost ending experiences, okay. and yeah, he's the Here. others are probably a little used to it. The, he's not. Okay. He's so new to this, so it's it's yeah. 
Do we want to stop in Varan more? I don't know that. I don't know if we have any. Do we have anything to do in Varan more? No. Well, it's the closest I can get us to Arjun. Great. You don't have to go directly in the city. You can you can get about ten miles yeah, like out of the outside city. the city. Yeah. Alright, so 10 miles And also, it's probably still room. fucked up from what yeah. happened. So, Nothing um, happened in Varanmore. There is no war bossing saying. Yeah, just everyone suddenly died for no apparent reason. Yeah, what are you talking Spence about? town just got assailed by, you know, illithid forces. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Your party's been waylaid by bandits. Yeah. Van, do you have anything to, uh... It was your hometown? It was, but, uh... I don't think my, my mother has moved back yet. No, she's still in the temple where you guys got yep. the contract to go check out the catacombs beneath it. All right. Uh, uh, she's still in the temple, and um, if I remember correctly, many of the other people I knew died, so it's uh, pretty painful to go visit right now. All right, so we'll stay a few miles outside of town. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to cast tr uh, Transport via Plants to... Okay. The furthest tree outside of Varanmore. Closest to Arjun. Alrighty. So you do that. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna run through one of these like really sad and dying trees. Yeah. Yeah. Wet trees. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Boom. To a nice oak tree in the middle of a field. Uh, well, not a field, uh, Vrenmore, the Vrenmore Shores where Vrenmore is, is all boreal rainforest, so you just come out mm -hmm. of a tree into thick rainforest about ten feet off the road. Just poof, 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 drug still on the carpet. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Coin's gonna start, uh, uh, cubing up the meat, or, like, getting it, it cut into strips getting it ready mm -hmm. probably two or three pounds while they're walking not a lot but just trying two or three pounds trying to get it cut up into strips for drying okay kind of clean, cleaning like extra rough parts off but like trying to yeah just get good uh, can I give coin guidance on this if it requires a skill check probably a survival check to do it guidance to like prepare the meat so it'll actually dry properly yeah gotta give it just the right amount of salt yeah you, yeah you'll need salt if you have salt anyone got cook supply <laughs> cook tools yeah if, if you don't got cook utensils then you can't do it oof anybody got cook utensils <laughs> then unfortunately you can't dry the meat right now Oh, but I can cut it up into pieces, right? You can cut it up into pieces. That doesn't require any checks, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I suppose... Mm, oh, but we're ten, we're ten miles outside of Renmore, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, that would actually be... Ten miles outside of Renmore and ten miles outside of Argent. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're, so we're we can get to Argent by, like, mid-afternoon. Well, you guys were digging through the treasure for two hours. It's currently... Well, none of you actually know the time. It looks like it's evening. The sun hasn't set yet, but like, it's evening. Okay, so, like... Dust. Person who can tell the time of day by sunlight is sleeping on the. Yeah. I mean, I ha I have a plus ten to survival. Can I at least oh, try to? Oh, sure. It's it's five p.m. <laughs> Great. <laughs> My passive survival is twenty. Uh, That's why I love Team Mind because they can just. What time is it? Here you go. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay. So it's yeah, it's about early, early evening. So we could probably make it to Argent. Uh, after da after dark. You can travel ten miles going. in four hours. We could probably get to Argent uh, by uh, a decent late. Yeah. Nine p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Like, nine p.m. Huh? Nightfall. Yeah. After dark, we got four more hours of walking to do. All right. Anyone Before doing anything during the walking, or is it just a walk? Got, just cutting a up, walk. cutting up pieces of meat. All right, just to cut up, to cut up all this dragon meat, it would probably take like the, the entire trip. I was, it's not it's not all the dragon meat. It's it's whatever I can in four hours. Which, okay, yeah, it would be a decent amount of it. Yeah, probably probably about 
As I got better at it, probably like 12 pounds, 12 to 15 pounds. Okay. Did I? I don't think I gave him a name. And I, and I, I am, I am aiming for like, like fillet. Yeah, like but chewy, like thin slices. Perfect. All right, I don't, I know what you're going for here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Like stuff you'd get at like a hibachi grill or. Yeah, it's cool. like I'm, I'm like yeah, like Korean barbecue. Oh like hell yeah! yeah. Hell, let's maybe, not talk maybe, about maybe Korean just, barbecue right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe just, maybe just a little thicker. Maybe I have a really good a all you can eat like, Korean tri-tip? barbecue place in my town. I really want to go. Anyways, all right. Uh, you remember that the farmer lives just outside of Argent because the druids of the town won't let him inside town because of they don't like the idea that he keeps animals for food. Mm. But yeah, four hours goes by relatively do we go to that? because you're in you're in the territory where there's crown guard presence so there's no nothing to run into no bandits no monsters nothing like that but um in the distance you can see in this again dense boreal rainforest where it rains all the time uh the homes are made up of mostly huts made of mud and sticks with collections of moss serving as the roof. Uh, surrounded by this boreal rainforest on all sides. Uh, there's a cave. You can see a cave in the southeast of town. But yeah, on the outside of town, you can just see a small little farm that's set up with like three pigs and two cows at this point. And you can see uh, there's a man outside who's currently in the process of like getting the animals down for the evening and put into a stable. Druk could wake up if they want to. If they don't, that's fine as well at this point. So, um, so we see this guy. It, this is the farmer. Do you see a guy about? putting these livestock animals into a stable? He's, uh, a, oh, he's a halfling, sorry. He's a halfling, not a human. Uh, howdy there. He's got like a straw hat. Typical farmer get up, straw hat, uh, denim overalls. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Tanned. He's got denim shirt under the denim overalls. Denim on denim. Yeah. Chewing a piece of wheat in his mouth. Oh, well, hi you there. Tuxedo. I love it. Well, hey there. What can I do for uh, you? Is your, uh, did you? Is your friend all right? Uh, yeah, he'll be fine. He's just resting right now. All right. Bit of a long day. What can I do for uh, you? Did you put out a uh, contract with the Wayfarers Guild? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some big animal's been taking all my livestock, I think. All right. Um, have you seen it in the last few days? No, but no. No. Did no. you get a good look at a at all? No, I never saw it. Happened that night. But again, other farmers in the area mentioned they had troubles with a rock a few years back. As a well, matter we of fact, it. we yes, we we yes, as Flitz was just saying, it, uh, please. Mm-hmm. No, uh, I was going to say that we found a rock uh, downed within the. Uh, it was uh, uh, within the, the city the of. Spot. What 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 the yeah, hell could the... take down a rock in these parts? Something much bigger than a rock. Well, what took it down? I should probably be concerned about that. That's probably the thing that's taking all my animals. Yeah. Uh, well, that thing is also not alive. Do you have proof yep. that both of these big things are dead? Uh, yeah. It, then coin would pull the the rock claw out of his bag. Okay. And I pull out my seven vials of dragon's blood. That blood doesn't tell me anything. Uh, it's dragon's I, blood. I actually have... A, I'm sorry, I don't mean to speak for yep. you. I have a, a proposition for you. Uh, um, I don't know you. Right, no. This is, this is why we, I was hoping to establish trade as I understand uh, mercantilism is a good way to uh, strengthen a uh, bond between strangers. All right. well, what do you want? Like, what's going on? Like, you got proof that the bigger things did? Uh, yes, actually, as a matter of fact. Have you ever had uh, dragon steaks? No. I am told they're quite a delicacy. Okay, this is going to involve a persuasion check because you don't really have solid evidence that it was a dragon. You have meat and blood. 
and the breath what pouch, else? but most people don't see a breath pouch, so... This is a persuasion check, because you didn't really bring anything to show it was a dragon. Uh, can I guidance? You have to be yeah, sitting right beside Coin to do this. So far, every time we've harvested a dragon, we've, we haven't have harvested, like, trophy items that would mm. actually but reveal we them. We got scales from the red yeah. dragon, but then we very quickly sold them. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, persuasion check. And guidance, you said? Yeah. Can I? Remember, you have to be right up on the person to do guidance. You can't do guidance for every ability check. You have to be with the person when they're doing it. I mean, we're talking together. I know. I'm just saying for future reference. Okay. It's fine. It's a 13 total. 13. Yeah. If it was a dragon, I assume you'd probably harvest more like trophy-like materials to prove like, hey, we killed a fucking dragon, right? Uh, I'm, the well, it's not it. our first. Yeah, well, like I said, no evidence. Um, but you did kill a rock, and you know what? Here, do you have your contract? Uh, yeah, here you are. Oh, he signs it, and then puts a little asterisk. If the dra if a dragon shows up. Don't let them take any more contracts. He just writes it on the contract for lying. And then. Wait, just... uh, hold on. If any dragon no, shows up. No, if a green drag, if a dragon shows up attacking my animals, then you didn't take care of the threat. Well, that seems very circumstantial as there are dragons across the world. You can't hold us accountable for. Well, dragons every are actually pretty rare dragon. recently. They've been, they're pretty, they've been pretty rare. They've only just come back recently. But, uh. Right, that's like saying... Just saying, of a, no evidence uh, that there was a dragon, but here's the contract, you take it to the Wayfarer's Guild, you should get your payment. Thanks oh, for all no. your help. Okay, Either way, we can... we're probably mm -hmm. staying the night in town so we can keep watch, and if there are any other rocks or dragons that come around here, we'll be in town they probably to won't, though, because, you know, those animals kind of don't share territory. Big animals don't share territory with each other. But... You... You know what? I'll take your word for it. What kind of dragon Play was it? It was a green dragon. Right, well, if another green dragon shows up, then... Oh, Mars then had two legs. It. it only had two legs. Two legs and some wings. It had four. I thought you said it was it bipedal. Itself, it, it was bipedal, but oh, it pulled like... with its front legs. Yeah. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Green dragons but use the back legs didn't work. <laughs> no, uh, it's Fizzbands lets you randomly create dragons with multiple traits and whatnot. Cool. Yeah. Well, bring that to the Wayfarer's Guild and you'll get your payment. There isn't one in Argent, though. We, uh, we got a way of finding one pretty quickly. Also, I, you probably won't be let into Argent if you've got meat on your person. Oh. Ran by druids who frown upon people who use animals as meat, so... Even if it's dragon meat? Any living thing that's meat. Ooh. So I gotta stay outside of town and deal with all the animals attacking my livestock. All right. No. Uh, do, so, do you have any interest in this specific meat? Not particularly. I like to eat just what I'm. What I know: cows, pigs. Hmm. Do Goats. you have a spare way of which we could so smoke I... this meat? Or as you, as the group wants to, I'm not a. I don't really eat meat as well, but. Uh, I was more no. interested in some, in if you had uh, salt, and uh, pepper, just a, just some simple S and P. Yeah, probably in my pantry. Do you want some? I was going to like... propose that you Hand of salt? enjoy you some free. delicious dragon meat. Oh. But it seems that you are averse to eating not really, dragon meat. I don't really want to eat dragon meat. It seems kind of scary. Do you like it's gold? It's not going to bite back. Everyone likes it's gold. Dead. Okay. Uh, How well, much? If you assist us, you could have... <laughs> He's going to pat the bottom of it. And... Uh, 
like a his hand's gonna fill up and kind of overflow of it. Oh, oh, and the little piece he's gonna like purposely he's putting on a little bit of a show. Like, oh, this thing has like a lot of fucking gold. And it's like spills out. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, like pop it and I don't know, like you know, this much. What are you, what are you trying to do? We want to be able to use your facilities and buy the things to be able to dry out this meat. So gold is not I can valuable. Bring you salt. I don't really got anything to smoke meat with, or dry it oh. out, or whatever. If we keep it in the pack of preserving, we can smoke it back at the re- uh, the remnant house. Okay. Oh, you're but, from uh, remnant? I no. immediately just fly. No, we're it's just... from here. Yeah, why do we're you got a house on remnant? We're adventurers, uh, oh. so uh, we've been to some weird places, done some weird things, gotten pretty good rewards. We're uh, we're pretty uh, famous. Uh, All right, well, I got a lot of work to do. Like I said, I'm trying to bed <laughs> yeah, my animals. Yeah, sure. like, not yeah, bed you get back sure. <laughs> I'm not trying to bed my animals. I'm trying to put them down for the evening. Put yeah, them no, I get you. Day. I get you. Oh, yes, for yeah. sure. 100%. If I can say it that long. <laughs> do you, do you... Do yeah. you have salt? We just need some salt. Do you have some salt? Cohen would like some I salt. Sell, I can give you. A, I can sell you a pound of salt. Here's right. ten gold. I don't know how Holy much. Holy crap! Oh, that's exactly the price for salt. <laughs> you want a little bit more? Here's five gold. Okay. Uh, it's just... well, we don't want to take sure. all the man salt. He, he runs back and just gives You're you right. a burlap sack that is a pound of just salt. <laughs> Here you go. It's all your Fifteen splits. gold. Fifteen gold. All right. Well, you know, contract. I'll get your payment. When you get to a Wayfarer's Guild, yeah, um, cool. All you right. know, maybe if maybe if there are more dragons that didn't come by, you can relocate with that fifteen gold. No, Might be a plan. No, we're near enough to do that. No. No? Do you need? He'll like tip over the bottle of more, more, like yeah, five more gold pieces. <laughs> no, but, it's all right. Fritz, I believe. Yeah, I believe we've uh, yeah, concluded it's, it's, all. Uh, business thank thank you so much your name again was silas thorn says so on the contract uh thank you oh. i had not read it wow i'm not really the i'm not the uh legal and compliance That's all right. i can't read that well either listen my dude i can i can read but <laughs> wait it's I, all right i think he's revoking am... you at this point let's just go <laughs> come on all right have a good one yes. <laughs> We corral each other a little bit, you know. All right, George, let's get you to bed. And the cow just goes. Right. Can you, do we have to stay within this area? Can we just go no, we can, back? We can set up the no. tower outside, but I can't oh. transport us anywhere for the rest of the day. Okay. Oh, he sees vent. You look like a wizard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> Much appreciated. They got a teleportation <laughs> circle in town, but like I said, if you got meat on your person, they won't let you in. Oh. All right. All right, bye. What the... Wait. Uh, Put all oh. the all the meat pieces back in the bag of colding. That was a weird call out. Uh, the pack is at about... capacity. Yeah, only about eight pounds can fit in the bag because of the yeah, rest of it. Almost. So it's like, oh. all right, okay. then they're going in Goad's chest. All right, they will spoil in a day, like for sure. By the time you oh, harvest them, so they'll spoil tomorrow at one p.m. We got, we got, well, gotta move with the quickness. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna. It was like smoke it all tonight. You can also guys. just pack them with salt, and that'll keep them. Yeah. I've heard that before. Smoke, smoke, smoke it all tonight. I gave it salt. <laughs> oh. yeah, there was a lot tonight. of things said. <laughs> just, it was a garrison. Packing with salt. We can start drying it now that we have salt. Well, yeah. So, so I guess, uh, are we going to stay outside of town tonight, or if you guys is... want, you can sleep in the barn. You can Thanks probably for set the up offer. a good camp somewhere else. For all, for all the salt you bought. We we We're have good. other arrangements. Barn's thank real you, comfortable. Though. I spent a lot of time in there. I mean, I'm sure it's very good. comfortable, thank you. Silas. But thank you. We have we no interest to... in watching you bed your animals. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we don't want to intrude on your personal I don't fuck time. my animals! 
I didn't say that you did. I was just using the words that you said. Bye. Throws a pitchfork. <laughs> and he walks away. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> no, he just throws cow dung. Oh. Ew. Uh... Worse. <laughs> He's gonna throw that coin. Yeah, he oh, throws no cow dung. Oh, oh god. Ooh. Oh no, that's a five. That misses. <laughs> <laughs> Overhead. Cow chip. All right, deep. let's keep going. Come on. Let's get out of here. Thanks for your help, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a, oh, seems well, like a welcome. perfectly pleasant interaction. Bye. Uh, everyone give me perception checks when he called the cow George, though. Oh, God. Perception? Insight? I'm a druid. Uh, uh, perception. You know, perception or insight, whatever you want to do. I mean, it's the same for me. But... What? No, I'm the same at insight. Uh, 14. 14. Okay. 21. 15. Anyone who rolls above a 12, will, we're good. George, you cowerable. No. Uh, Ben, what'd you get? No. Uh, 21. Kenna. God. Uh, 14. Coin. Alright, it flits. was not good. Five. Okay, Dax. 15. Kenna, Dax, and Ven. George is at least dressed up like a cow. It is a person in a cow costume on all fours. Whatever you're into. Like, and in this house, it, we don't kick shame. It's <laughs> definitely. Yeah. You do you, boo. You do you, Silas. Wait, it's so a, was it this actual is fantasy cow shit he furry, drew, or was 100%. it their shit? I mean, there's, still, there's actual real livestock animals in the yeah. field, so. Okay, so it was actual cow shit. Okay. But yeah, he walks away with George, and they go into the barn. <laughs> I mean, I would, honestly, if, if someone you care about more than animals is technically, like, in danger of a big animal carrying them off. Yeah, you know. Even if by hard. mistake, I could understand why the contract was so vigorously pursued. Yeah. I get that it. That is very true. That makes yeah. sense. Oh you my god. Yeah, Holy shit. Life. So this Holy is a love shit. story, guys. What we've rocked, walked into is a love story. And that's yeah, it was like cute. a love story, too. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> The things that were abducted <laughs> weren't his cattle. It was his other god. Yeah. <laughs> Drek is no, so glad. There are, like I said, there are livestock in the field. He did have livestock go that like, went missing. Yeah. Oh, bless. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a reason why I was so pertinent that this gets I know. fixed. We yeah. hear you, Justin. <laughs> but, what are you all doing? <laughs> You're walking away uh. from the farm. Hoping not it. hear any moaning coming from the barn via cow noise. We're moving on from Silas's farm. Yeah, we're, we're moving, moving on. on. From that. That's that's long gone. Uh, we're gonna move on. Oh, don't. God, God damn it. No. We're Want done. Any milk? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got no. cheese. Well, I'm good. Oh, that's even worse. All right, you all I'm... leave Silas's farm. <laughs> uh. Head to the town to Argent. Do you have meat on you? Have, you have to hide all the meat you have on your person, and any Dude. armor that's made of leather. Set up the really? tower outside. Yeah. Do we just want to set up the tower outside? Yeah. I yeah. Freaking tear off. Uh, so so coin is actually gonna start looking. Um, okay, Ben sets up the tower. It just <laughs> appears. Um, uh, coin coin is gonna look in the forest in the woods for. Um, a couple sticks, like one and a half his height. Right. Probably so. Yeah, like looking for about uh, five to six, or even seven, like reasonably big, like about thumb thumb wise, uh, uh, five foot sticks. So good them. size, strong enough. Yeah. And as you all, all right. begin preparing for the night, we're gonna go to break, and we'll be back in ten minutes. So we'll see you all then. Break ten.
everybody. Everyone is getting sleepy time for the evening. Coin is collecting sticks. Uh, Druck is passed out. What's Ven doing? Fortress is up. You got time. Well, if I have time, uh, I doubt I have enough time to start reading my book. Probably not. Um, so I'm just going to get some copying time in. I'm not going to play with the cancel. No, I'm going to be careful with that. You should, you should play with it. No. Get some... How, how many hours of work can I get in? You're doing a long rest with us, it seems like, so however much, six at the most. Well, if I'm, if I'm gonna, most. yeah, I was gonna say I'm resting, so okay. All right, and also you don't need to take watch because it's a tower that people can't get yeah. in. So, uh, so with with those sticks that Coin had, um, he's gonna make a drying rack for me. Okay, cool. Uh, make a survival yeah. check to see how well you can do that. Right on. It's a one. A one. It'll probably take you the entirety of the, of your. It'll. Eh, you won't finish it this evening. Okay. I'm not gonna do like a hardcore failure. Everything breaks. It's just gonna be. You're not gonna be able to finish it this evening. Okay. Um. I guess I was also gonna try and set up, uh, a fire, to try and, uh smoke some of this meat okay fires fires easy to do outside right outside it have to be outside otherwise you'd smoke a tower out well i mean we'd open up the the roof hole the trap door up there okay um, maybe put it put a fire up on the second floor so that it holds in all the smoky flavor well there is no second meat. floor it's a ladder that just goes right out to the outside yeah, there's a battlement on top. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I'm gonna just yeah, that's gonna it's gonna be the work of that, I guess. The the two hours trying to okay sort make that sure out. that's good and set that out, set out maybe some some drying. Oh no, it it, some has, it has two it has two floors. All right. Fuck me then. It's a, yeah, sorry. It's a it's, it's interior is divided into two floors, a ladder running along one wall to connect them. The ladder ends at a trap door leading to the roof. All right. So it's the same ladder going up to the top. You can just get off on the second floor. Oh, also, sorry to interrupt again. I will actually do one less hour of translation, and I'm going to attune to that ring. All right. Right. So, okay. Get that uh, sword into Druck's hand. Druck can't attune to it unless they're they're conscious. Right. I don't know okay. that it necessarily is the goal. I'm just trying right. to. And also, Druck, get... I think Druck's full up. Yeah. All right. You put the sword in Druck's hand. Maybe. He might come back to us if he feels some strength in that hand. All right. Ooh, wait, you put it in his dragon hand? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> put it in. Fling, 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 fling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Coin's, Coin's doing that for two hours. Ven's doing that for the two hours. What's Flitz doing for two hours before bedtime? Um, I don't know if I can mention it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Flitz will... He is going to go to Drug's body and cast um, disintegrate. No, excellent. Uh, he is going to you automatically fill a deck save when you're unconscious. <laughs> he is going to kind of give Drug a final look over, but um, he is going to take off the headband okay uh with intelligence it can there's some things that maybe be better if it's 
thought of in a more rudimentary way Okay. in the process. So he wants to take it off, and he knows that if he starts attuning to it, it'll end attunement. It'll end attunement for drug. Okay. So maybe a more simplistic step in processing this okay. would be helpful for sure. drug Fair. as opposed to a Fair. complex yeah, makes sense. misunderstanding. Right. You take that the is... headband off. And Flitz will start attuning to it. Okay. Drug, you lose it. Drug, you lose it. Drug, I'm you lose sorry. It. You lose it. I'm sorry. It. No, it makes complete yeah. sense. He knows how Druck was. It wasn't yeah. that he thinks Druck was dumb. He thinks that Druck thought of things in a very yeah. simple way. And having a complex, higher intellect yeah. that's kind of enlightening you, he feels that it okay. is what could maybe cause that trauma. All right. So um, that's what Flitz is doing, then. Yeah. What about Kenna? Um, how long would it take me to brew one of the uh, green, the green dragon potions with the blood? Uh, I didn't tell you what it would make, so you don't know what it'll make yet. So yeah. You have to do a check to actually do... D -d deduce what ingredients you could make, like what ing additional ingredients you'll need to make a potion out of this. Okay. So that'll be your two hours is deducing what you can make out of this. So give me nature check. Nature check? Yep. Can I add But with your like proficiency bonus or whatever because Okay, so that's that. gonna be an additional plus four. Yeah. Um sixteen total. Sixteen total. Okay. Alright. Uh do I figure anything out? Uh, you can make a potion of poison out of it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start making one potion of poison. You don't have all the ingredients. You need. I don't have them. No, you need some poisonous mushrooms to okay. kind of round it all out. Okay. Base. So I have to find those. Yeah, yeah. Potion making, you gotta gather your ingredients, because most potions take more than one ingredient. So, no time left. But yeah, your two hours it's will be spent a... figuring out what you can make with this. Yeah. All right. It's a potion of dragon blood. Uh, Dax, what are you doing for two hours? Uh, first, I'm seeing if anybody can use the armor of poison resistance breastplate. Because <laughs> I don't need it. Nobody else can. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Is it heavy? It's medium. What's it made of? Bone. I can use it, because it's not metal. There we go. Can I? Here you uh, go. Huh? What? Yeah. But also, it's poison resistance. You already get poison resistance, so it's just going to yeah. boost your AC. Yeah. I mean, I won't have to wear my leather. Oh, I won't be able to wear the bone armor inside either. So. Correct. I'll wear it when we're done in... What town are we? Argent. Like uh, I said, anyone who's wearing leather can't go into Argent, and anyone who's got meat on their person can't go into Argent. We're made out of meat. Can't really take that off. Surprisingly, Deadly. the tower collapses on Dax. And <laughs> I mean... I guess oh. liches are welcome then, so... No oh, leeches. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess you all bed. In leeches. Uh, Druck, you wake up two hours after everyone's passed out. Cool. Uh, you see the arm. He takes a sharp breath, comes to consciousness, kind of looks around, sees everyone sleeping. You can see some meat. Place. You can see some meat, kind of a sort of half finished drying rack. There's meat like salted and drying on it. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> can you hear me? Am I am, am I soft? Oh right yeah, now? I, I can hear you now. Break? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You'd also you'd also see coin in the corner with the the big uh, Bahamut stuffy like on his back like sleeping in it's like essentially excellent yeah it's like a boyfriend pillow like it's got its arms around <laughs> the Bahamut's head's over here 
Like Excellent. normally how he would usually sleep against a wall, but now he has the half sphere <laughs> inside the Bahamut belly. Awesome. And he's like <laughs> sleeping with the stuffy. So that's that's what that's where that's, that's what you see. And also one stick that he's still trying to tie together to another stick. It's just not working. Alright. Yeah, Druck, everyone's been asleep now at this point for about two hours. Uh and you feel hot. Yeah. So he does that, you know, gets a gets a feel of his surroundings. <sighs> Sighs, leans back. As you sigh a little bit, and then, like smoke comes out. And then he remembers his arm. And he looks looks down and sees his hand. kind of incredulous at first he just pokes it with his other hand just checking to see if it like this you know sense of touch and everything is working mm -hmm. and like just yeah uh, this is a very odd thing not having fur on a hand he's never shaved it's your entire arm like yeah that, so it's like a whole arm yeah of red scales um, yeah um now through the adaptation of like getting used to that heat everything else feels like comfortable almost comfortably cool because of like his adaptation to heat in general mm -hmm. this is a kind of a wet hot environment mm -hmm. probably doesn't affect him that much um, but he looks at this looks at everyone else and he decides to go hunting. Okay. It's pretty much his baseline. Is the can I still do what I what I always do? Okay. I'm just gonna go out and All try right. to go hunting. Uh, it'd be about seven PM at this point, so the sun is just setting. Okay. And you're surrounded by boreal rainforest. Cool. Um, yeah, he's gonna try and find a trail. Alright, survival check. Would, and we're in wilderness? Yep. Okay. Yep. 31. 31. There's like hundreds of little animal trails. Of all sorts. Just something small like a rabbit easily found cool. I'll start following it all right keeping his eyes open all right you follow it for about 10 minutes you can see a rabbit chewing on some grass eating some berries kind of make a fist with his hand trying to make sure that it's not shaky or anything nope. Um, yeah, so he's going to use, he's going to say transfer, reach into one of his pockets okay. and pull out the light crossbow that he put in oh, yeah. okay. the chest. Mm-hmm. And he's just going to use the light crossbow instead of like uh, the lightning bolt yeah. thing, which is like completely overkill for a little, on like for hunting. A rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So he's just going to do that. Put it in a little thing. Yeah, you get sneak attack because it's it. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to like because it because this is this is the hand that stabilizes right yeah. mm -hmm. the the entire apparatus. Uh, so he goes and just tries to hit this thing. Okay. Uh, 
26 to hit. Yeah, rabbit's gone. Yeah, yeah. Sitch says to himself, I suppose. Gives it another like flexing of the hand and fist. Picks up the rabbit, takes it back, and uh, prepares it as well as attempts to prepare breakfast for everyone. Okay. You all awake. Uh, come morning to the smell of cooking rabbit. Inside the tower. But yeah. Everyone gets benefits of a long rest. Good morning. Morning, Druk. Uh, how, how are you feeling? Gave us a little scare yesterday. Mm. It wasn't too bad. I feel fine. Um, different, but fine. I guess don't be alarmed by me saying that. I know Dax has said something similar <laughs> and there was an influence involved, but uh, as far as I can tell, I am me. So, uh, Looks like he went hunting. He takes, oh, he doesn't take a dagger. <laughs> he doesn't take the dagger, but he'll take like one of his crossbow bolts and like, or no, no, he won't take crossbow bolt. He'll take, sure, his, uh, that new sharpness mm. uh, scimitar. <clears throat> kind of mm. carve a little slice out, like, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, I try a little bit of it. This is good. This is pretty good. What'd you season it with? Mm, there's like a whole pound of salt in the corner there. I don't. <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, the, well, also, I did, you I didn't see... use the whole pound, right? Oh, of course not. No. All right. Good. Uh. <laughs> I did see also that there was some of that dragon meat being dried up there. I took the liberties of getting some wet logs to get the smoke going, give it the flavor overnight. Great. Great. Um, yeah, sounds good. Uh, hopefully it'll Saw, be... Saw an apple, applewood tree. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that'll taste pretty good. I, I did the best that I could. I was uh, trying to uh, get you a head start on the trash dragon jerky that oh, you wanted you, to make. Your intuition is very good on this. There's, hey. you, no, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm being honest. Like the usual beginner doesn't see to carve, you know, against the grain in that respect. And you, you did it. You did it right. That's this is the good decisions you were making. It was only just this one part. Yeah, that was. You got it. learning uh, the skills of survival I was good at uh, butchery I was good at but never as good at cooking I, 
you know, you, I know you probably don't get a lot of pride for me saying this, but you made me more proficient at uh, picking rocks, and this is appreciated by me. If I can help you with outdoors and like things, I I would take pride in such a thing myself. Yeah, that's, that would be good. It would be good to know. Good to have those skills. By the way, does this off put you? I know that this is... This seems trash dragony. It most certainly is. But, you know... Uh, po buddies nerfect. If every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have bratwurst. The tower collapses. Everyone, uh, <laughs> the, the, the trap door closes and can't get reopened. Everyone dies of smoke inhalation. No! What a delicious way to die! Uh, deli- <laughs> and and anything that finds us is going to find some delectable. Yeah. <laughs> What's this random tower doing in the road? What's inside? Uh, oh, smoked people, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> oh, uh, dragon's blood. Speaking of, since the trap door is open, we all this money. Uh, we're gonna roll for weather for today, because again, Ooh, trap door is okay. open. Cool. No meat is directly underneath the trap door. No, but the trap door is open. Uh, <laughs> because you know. All right, who wants to roll for weather? Uh, I'll do one of them. All right. Roll for weather, then. D100 or 20? 20. 20. 18. Roll a D4. Mm-hmm. Second roll? Three. 30 degrees hotter than normal. <sighs> I'm sorry. So it's pretty hot in here. Uh... Wind. So somebody roll a d20 for wind. Got it. Six. No wind. So just hot, no breeze. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Gross. Pre- precipitation. Maybe this will help. Can I prepare a, a wind spell in light of this weather? Probably. Uh, kind of we... perfect barbecue weather, though. It is. Yeah. It is. No, because wind will put out. Yeah. And also, so will rain, especially if you're smoking. You don't want rain or wind. Uh, who's doing rain? Precipitation roll. I'll roll it. All right. Uh, I was a 16, Sucha. Light rain. So there's rain coming through the trap door. Oh, That's perfect, actually. That's not too bad. So That's it's like helping, Pacific it's helping, Northern. It's, 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 helping, it's, it's helping the temperature awful. a little bit, but it's still 30 degrees hotter than normal and raining. This is Florida weather, guys. This is not <laughs> ideal. No, it's not Florida weather. You're still a little too far north. So it's 30 degrees hotter of where the northern location would be. So it's maybe like 20. It's, I oh know, it'd be more like 33 degrees Celsius. So whatever that is in Fahrenheit. But yeah, you're all in the tower smoking meat, sleep, waking up, doing whatever. Would, th- would fog cloud make it uh, cooler around no. us? Alright, cool. You'd just be like summoning humid water vapor. That would yeah. Just in the air. I yeah. figure, yeah. I gotta learn the, the gust train. Yeah. Whoa. I gotta learn the gust cantrip. Um, if y'all don't mind, I'd like to head into town. Uh, I've take- I didn't put my armor on this morning. Um, so it's just me, uh, and all my magic items. Um, all right. Yeah. Anyone who's wearing leather armor will not be permitted in town. Uh, and... Does that include like belts and boots. No, uh... but like full on like if it, if you're wearing like a ample supply of leather, like leather. armor. Okay. Okay. Like and also, excessive. if you're Beyond like, survival. also if you got like animal parts on you, like meat and yeah, scraps. Mm-hmm. We essentially just come across a nudist colony. <laughs> Uh, the druids are very devout vegans. <laughs> or at least these druids are. Kenna, you're wearing armor made entirely out of bone. Uh, 
I, I did not put that bone armor on yet. Thank oh, okay. you very much. <laughs> by the way, Ven is casting prestidigitation to cool the cubic foot of air around his face, just okay. like on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish I could do that in real life. Right. Honestly. Yeah. That's why that's why I have this this little air conditioning here right here on my desk. Yeah. All right. I would have a swamp cooler in this tower. Mm-hmm. Uh but yeah, I'm gonna start packing up some gear to just, you know, go on a little excursion into uh Argent. Who all is going into Argent with Kenna? Flitz will go. Flitz has kind of been avoiding eye contact with drugs, so he's kind of like It feels a little bad, uh, but he'll kind of. Yeah, Rick, you also Kenna. notice you're not—you don't have the headband on anymore. Wait, what? You don't have the headband available on anymore. You've yeah. Oh, too. yeah, yeah. He did like at, like it he's even, been too busy right. with his other stuff. Okay. Like, and with that drop in like sure. intelligence and stuff, it's like. I had a headband of intellect at that point. Like, because that, that happened over the course of a day. He'd only yeah, had that yeah, headband yeah. on for like a day. Mm-hmm. And so it was just like, like a little bit of a minor thing overthinking for a It was like he day. just, no, this whole time, it was like he just woke up from a dream. Aww. You know, like um, some really lucid a, dream. Okay. A day of enlightenment. Uh, as yeah. you're all like figuring out what to do for the day and like get ready to travel, you can hear people go outside going, This tower wasn't here yesterday. That's weird. Uh, I'm gonna stick my head out the front door. Uh, morning there. You see a bunch of crowns guard just patrolling. Uh, we're the Fast and the Furious. I hope it's not a problem that we kind of set up camp here. No. Just checking it out. It's temporary. Yeah, it's just temporary. All right. I promise. Yeah. All right, and they just keep going. Oh, doing good work. Thank you. <laughs> Eggs, they're 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 on uh, horse. They're on horses. They're pulling mm-hmm. a huge wagon. There's something dead in the back of the wagon that's been covered with a tarp. Can I try to see what it? They might have perception gotten check. Their perception check. Nah, I'm not per- very perceptive in the morning. Uh, it's an eleven. A big tarp. All right, big tarp with something underneath it. Well, they got something big on under that tarp. And they just keep going. Uh, anyone else want to pop into town with me? I'll come in. I'll go with you. All right. All right. Is that it for Argent? Just the two of you? Uh, I'll come too. Yes. Oh, all of you might go. as well. All right. A little coin. Is Ven gonna leave the tower up in case anyone stays, or? Uh, if anyone stays, he'll leave the tower up. Otherwise, I'll bring it with. Druck will continue the smoking. Okay. Okay. He'll he'll for he'll oversee the the smoking operation. Smoking does take a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like twelve hours. Yep. And you'd be so at... I got started uh, right at the start of the night. You'd be at eight <laughs> right now, so. Our, just in time for lunch. Cave and I's dad would always start smoking like at night <laughs> and yeah. finish up in the morning. Nice. <laughs> I did. It, I'd do it in the morning and then it'd be done by dinner time. I would sort of like six a.m. Um, all right. So who's all staying at the tower just so I can keep track of stuff? Uh, I yeah. I if it's easier, yeah. It, it, coin will stay with Druck. All right. And try and learn some okay. smoking skills and all some right. survival don't, skills. All right, cool. Don't worry. I don't expect the people to hang out in Argent too long once they see what it's all about. So, oh boy. the four of you that head to Argent, like I said, you can see the homes are made mostly of huts of mud sticks with a collection of moss as the roof. Uh, it is surrounded by the lush boreal rainforest that makes up the verdant shores. Uh, you can see a cave is in town to the southeast and... As you get closer to the settlement, closer than you were before last night, you can hear loud things walking around the perimeter of the village, and you swear the trees are moving. 
and one of the trees stops and looks down at Kenna, Ven, Flitz, and Dax. You can see there's someone very like per P Marion Pippin in not like one person, uh, kind of like Marion and Pippin, up in the boughs of this walking tree, and they're just going, "Well, hey down there." Uh, howdy. Oh. You got any meat on you? And no. no products? No. No. Waves his hand in the air. All right. What are you looking to do in Argent? Uh, I was looking to see if you had any uh, special mushrooms and also if you might have uh, heard of someone either living around here or just uh, passing through. We don't sell stuff in Argent. We don't deal with comer commerce. We sustain ourselves with, our with the land. All right. Um... Did anyone by the name no of... No commerce whatsoever in Argent. They just deal amongst themselves. It's very oh, it's very much yeah. a settlement that keeps to themselves. I figured. Uh, have you... Very much a weird colony. Mm -hmm. Communes. Got it. Yeah. Like uh, have, have you seen or heard or know anyone by the name of uh, Pashan in this area? Came by about 11, 10, 11 years ago. Maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah. Around. Yeah, he's got a shack up in the woods, in the forest, in the Vernon Shore somewhere. Uh, do you know where? Like, which direction? About how many miles no, from here? No, he wanted to be well hidden from something. He was expressed, you know, was pretty adamant on being well hidden. And we don't really deal with the outside world all that much. We don't really care for the outside world. So we left him to it. And he's just somewhere in the forest. Yep. He stopped through here to get directions, but that was about it. Did you do you remember which way, which direction he went went when he left town? Uh, if I recall, uh, you said this was like eleven or so years ago. Yeah, ten, eleven, probably eleven years now. All right. Uh, kind of points east. Uh, down the road to Veranmore or closer to Corvanus? Uh, neither. In between. Like I said, didn't want to be found, so very far away from civilization. Middle of the forest, probably. Alright. Oh, Seems well, scared. Thank you. That's all I can say. That's all I know. Like I, I said... We, we tend to stick to ourselves here. Uh, thank you very much. You guys interested in anything? Nope. Oh, uh, actually, yes, they, uh, I believe they have a teleportation circle. We do. Would you mind if I took a look at it? Why? Uh, to copy down the runes? Why? To be able to return quickly. He's he's a he's one of the good ones. Uh, real good guy. I don't know what that means. Uh, very morally sound. Uh, above board, kind of really sticks to the status quo. All right, this no. way. <laughs> Nobody else. All right. Fair enough. The halfling, the, the massive tree turns and just lumbers into the settlement. Let's is gonna, as they begin to leave, he's going to stick the finger that has the copper ring around his finger and he's gonna point as Vin gets a good little bit away. It's not to be so no one else can hear and he's gonna cast a message. Do you want it to wait for you? Uh, I, I think I'll be fine. Right. Um, message us if you need it. Any help? If I things will. Get weird. All right. right. After about a minute, you're led to a cave. Hmm. The halfling climbs down this tree end, and you can see it now closer up. Your friends weren't too far off when they made a joke about it being a nudist colony. They're not wearing much. They got like a little leaf over their crotch. All right. <laughs> Nothing in the back, so bare bum. All right, this way. Where are you from? All right. 
of Renmore, actually, originally. Oh, interesting. Heard they all got wiped out. Uh, yes. Uh, That's very sad. Yes. Leads you into the cave, and it's dank, it's dark. Uh, not lit whatsoever. Leads you around a corner to this, like, little alcove where there's a teleportation circle etched on the ground. The other Thank you. area of the cave, like another, there's another tunnel, and you can see it's heavily guarded by more of these, like, near nude people, but they're wearing more armor made of wood. Mm -hmm. And holding, uh, like, spears and stuff. He's like, all right, there's a circle. May I copy down the runes? Yeah. One second. And you see his right. eyes go white, and he's casting Detect Thoughts on you. All right. What's your surface thought? <laughs> uh, probably just like, hmm, all right, if I... I could probably put it in that. I could probably put it in my journal. I think that's where I've been keeping and keeping track of those. That probably. Right. Or actually, no. There, I have a spot in my spell book. <laughs> All right. Feel free. All right. All right. Then he will. I have the teleportation circles known into my notes. Okay. Just be sure if you come through this one, you got no meat on your person. Oh, of course. Or any animal byproducts. Otherwise, he smiles. All right. Uh, what should I call this one? Argent. A R G E N T. Yeah, A R G E N T. Cave. Don't bring animal byproducts. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll show you out. All right. Leads you out. Back towards your friends. By the way, Justin, I think it is awesome that you have like certain teleportation teleportation circles are extremely powerful. But having like one in like a, a region that we have visited before and everything like that have a very specific stipulation. That's like that's kind of fun. <laughs> he uh, so. clambers up back on the tree end and says, "And yeah, as you walk through town, no shops whatsoever. It's just huts. I didn't see the." forge off the land and that's how they live all right lovely settlement you have here is that a lie <laughs> no okay cool uh all right safe travels thank you and doesn't budge and just waits for you all to move away all right let's go just think one of you could have started there and that would have been interesting mm -hmm. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing clothes? Um, yeah. Why are you wearing clothes? Dude. But, uh, yeah, you can get back to the tower. Like I said, the tower is only like 30 feet away. So. Mm -hmm. You good? Everything's all right? Oh, yes. We got the teleportation circle copy down. We can come back through here whenever we like. I realize I don't actually... I do actually need to get... The spell is so new to me, I don't actually have the... Uh, chalks and inks uh, that I need in order to cast it. I for, I miss I, I don't have the. Oh, both. I, I had you buy those when you weren't here. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. One for one cast for one. Or I spent like for... you told me how much money to spend, and I spent it. I don't remember how much. Okay. It's probably in here somewhere. Yeah, I don't remember how much I paid. For. Oh, five hundred gold teleportation circle components. We got ten yeah. casts. Yeah. Nice. Well, uh, I've actually pre uh, once we get back to everybody else, like I also have teleportation circle prepared today, so we could go, uh, well, anywhere that I know, which would be the Soulspire Academy, uh, Menzova Mayat's house, or our our, our house in uh, Anvil Varric, uh, and the Dreamweave District in Undeal City, and right back in there. But that'd be kind of a waste. <laughs> you don't want to test it to make sure it works. No, I think I'll trust that it works. I so do we want to go back to Anandio City, turn in this to contract, and then go to Hollyshire? Or well, wasn't there also a was there was also a a, a contract in Anandio City, wasn't there? Yeah, it's for the catacombs under the halls of eternal life. The dude's brother mm -hmm. went to go pay respects to his mom's corpse right. once it was locked down, and he wasn't heard from. So we can look into that, but it's up to it's up to all of you. 
Well, meanwhile, uh, while you are walking towards the tower, what are Druck and Coin doing? We are smoking meats and just vibing. Okay. Uh, after you've a while... Got, you've got about ten minutes, because that's how long that whole thing took. Okay, yeah. Because the smoking had been happening all night, uh, Druck's going to take a little sample of the dragon meat. And since nobody has really tested it yet... It's, still, gonna... a little, it's still a little raw. Yeah. Chuck's fine with that. He's he's had rawer. <laughs> Fair. And if, and, it, and if it's and if it's like steak like quality, it's not like ground, so that the other it yeah. hasn't been exposed to a lot of surface area, yeah. so it should be fine. It's just like you're eating blue rare. Mm-hmm. So just he uh, <laughs> he'll like take a, a slice of, of it, probably bigger than like a normal bite so it's like it's like a chunk like this okay it's very irony compared to what like most red meat okay it tastes like you're eating liver yeah and i love liver so Is he getting anything that would make it like? I mean, it's, it's dragging me. Does it just not it taste like, any different like or red, special? It, most red meats don't taste that different compared to each other. Some are gamey, some aren't. This seems like it's going to be pretty gamey. Hmm. I don't see what the big deal is. But something inside of you, it's weird, you can't put a finger on it, doesn't like you eating this. Like, you feel a little bit of, like, revulsion from it. I don't get it. Hmm. Maybe it's better if it's cooked more. Hmm. He puts it back up on the thing. Yeah, at this point, probably you could hear the others. But, uh... No. Mostly just a corn. Mm-hmm. I've seen this dragon. The, we fought the red dragon before. This seems like a similar thing going on. <sighs> if the worst happens. I know I can trust you to, you know, get rid of the trash, take out the trash, so to speak. You would do that for me, yes? What do you mean if the worst happens? I don't know what this means. I have... <clears throat> when it happened, I... I looked at your wound where it connected uh, to your body I said many prayers to Bahamut to protect you and what you have is, is currently the resulting combination of yes perhaps not like most cool awesome new limb to have but at the same time you have a limb and you have it with uh, the protection and guidance of Bahamut so I would uh, uh, invite you to let go of any anxiety about uh, worst case scenarios that could happen but um, I'll I'll watch and I will support any decision you make about this arm. Hmm. I trust your judgment. It's been sound. Well, I I try. That's all we can all do is try. Ah. <sighs> 
This meat's rubbish, by the way. I'll try cooking it more, but... Mm. Yeah, you know, I'm not... I, I'd I, be better sold. Yeah, I was... I, I mean... It seems like... The farmer had no interest in it. And I don't think they are going to get it in Argent, so we will want to move it fast if we are going... <laughs> So yeah, maybe it'll we spoil can... in a few hours. <laughs> the one, the stuff that isn't. Yeah, I mean, I can already see. We just, it just needs to get, uh, just needs to get cooked fast. Well, we'll have about uh, fifteen pounds of jerky after this, and wait, assuming... wait, why just fifteen? We have. Like a hundred and some pounds of it that are up and yeah, and a lot of it's okay. gonna spoil soon. I prepared fifteen pounds of the small portions of jerky, like the oh yeah, drunk Dr- Dr- would have been and then you... yeah. Oh, Sorry. you'd have been yeah. Like the, the, you, yeah. You, there's no way you could have prepared all of the hundred and some odd pounds. Yeah, it was one hundred and twenty-one. There's pounds. no way you could prepare that much meat that quickly. <laughs> yeah, no way. Uh, but it would uh, it'd be about this time where you can hear the others getting back to the tower. Okay. You know, step in. How was the sojourn into the nudist colony? Mostly only nudist in the cave I went into. Oh, no. The people you saw wandering around town would have been barely wearing anything, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what they say, sun's out, bun's out. Sun's really not out, though. It's... Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> you know uh, what? Uh, never shit a shitter. Fair enough. Don't know what that means either, <laughs> but all right. <laughs> Sh- <laughs> uh Feel free, breakfast, it's uh, ready. Some of these smoked meats should be good enough for eating, or at least trying. See what you think. I, I could give or take it. Um, is there anything else to eat? Maybe. No. Uh, oh, uh, I got this apple. Got a couple apples. There's an apple tree. Oh. Perfect. I've also got some good berries uh, that'll fill you up for the day. What if I would have the apple and one of those berries? Would that be all right? Yeah. Just make those out. All right. Yeah, so that'll be yeah. good for me. I will mark. Thank you, Drug. Mark off the good berries. By the way, um, Kenna, roll percentile dice. Right. Right, right, right. Uh-oh. People are forgetting to do that, and we've got a few days for you to. You have to do a few days of those, but I forgot. No, so I think I've one. been keeping up. Yeah, you should, just do yeah, one the, then. We kept cool. Up, yeah. Then just do one. Oh, really? Hell yeah. Five. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a sickness that manifests now because I forgot. Uh huh. Here's my tally. I got it. Everybody, try some dragon meat. <laughs> No. You're at, <laughs> You're at one, Except out of, okay, so one out of five mild symptoms. So you, this okay. would be a mild symptom. Uh, I gotta find my table that I use for that, though. So I haven't needed it for a while. Alrighty. Roll me a D100. Another one? Yeah, I had to figure out which one you get. Oh, that's right. Another one. 93. Even more luscious beer. All right. Come on. Your fingers and toes elongate an additional two feet. (gasps) Two feet? My nose? Toes and fingers. (laughs) Oh, my toes and fingers grow an additional two feet. Yeah, so as soon as you get back to the tower, that's when it kicks in. Your your fingers and toes just grow an additional two feet. (laughs) Does that include joints? No, just your fingers and toes. (laughs) Oh, my feet really hurt from the... <laughs> and they right, burst, they, they burst out of your shoes. Oh, man. So, yeah, two foot long fingers and toes. How long does this last? You don't know. 
Uh-huh. Actually, no, I think what this... this has happened before. Yeah, I roll for it. I, think, I, ro I roll yeah. to see how long it lasts for. But you don't know how long it lasts for. But, like, this specific effect has happened before. Yeah. It's like, but oh, yeah, man, your fingers again. And, your, your fingers and toes elongate two feet. Your toes burst out of your shoes. Yeah. I'll again. take my boots off and start casting mending on them so I can use them when my feet return right. to normal. That's all that happens. What? Blitz, you look confused. Yeah, a little. Yes, just a little. Uh, this is just something that happens as a result of uh, using this guy every day. A rock? Uh, it's my Cathadium crystal. You see a... A who? You see a... Uh, a green crystal filled with moss. So it's very you, pretty, but you, you, it makes your fingers and toes. Okay. Well, most importantly, um, it makes me super good at magic, um, uh, and wild shaping. Uh, oh. it uh, what else? Oh, it can make you uh, smell things uh, that I want you to smell effectively incapacitating you or making you lack me for a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, and, While you're holding the you crystal, know, it's like two feet up because yeah. your fingers. <laughs> She's like in Flitz's face. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. turns. Yeah. It's real relaxed right in front of Flitz's face. Long distance wet um, Yeah. Um, and as a result, uh, there's a chance <laughs> that uh, something might like this might happen, and if something like this happens, uh, there's a chance that my eyeballs walk out of my face hole. <laughs> once. What? That's just one of the things that happens. Uh, when we were in uh, just happened yes. When we were in Cathedral together, um, if I had taken a long rest while we were together, there's a uh, there's a chance. Uh, that uh, I might have exploded in a fiery ball of death near all y'all. Mm -hmm. Isn't that still a possibility? No, it's gone. No. Uh, when you healed the world with your crystal, uh, that went away. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Oh! Dax. Yes, struck. What? Uh. You didn't tell your story last night, did you, while I was out? I did not drug. I was waiting for you, because it was... I still can't believe. I just managed to... I... A hunting story to... should be told over the... Over the... The yield of the... Of the hunt. And he, like, gives you a slice of the dragon meat to try. Dex like holds it between like their thumb and their index finger. They're just like looking at it. As I understand, you were the one that tenderized the beast. More so than I thought I would. And then Dax like takes like a bite of it. It's irony. Oh, no different no. from her than what Druck did. Little um. Bloody irony. As they take another bite, like, it just seems like it needs to cook more, Dax. Yeah, Dax is gonna put it back it's still where it was smoking. Pretty, yeah, raw. I Dark's guess gonna just... take it in Plus... his hands mm -hmm. and snap his fingers. Nothing, because it's not a melee weapon. Um, well, oh, go ahead. Melee attack. Well, okay there, Druck. You're snapping? It's nothing. Tell us the story of how you took the... All of the... This dragon was so boisterous, and you deflated it in what one strike two strikes what was it knowing that druck loves a good hunt story dax dax is trying to hype this up as humanly possible to like 
play into that like that vibe okay, that he is. Okay, performance and... check. <laughs> you know what? It's a nineteen. You know All what? Right. Ruck, I was right there, right in front of this dragon, and I could smell its hot breath from its nostrils. If I had glasses on, it would have fogged them up. It may have tried to put fear in my heart, but all it did was steal and harden my blade even more. And I charged forth from it, and I used all the strength and power from Bahamut combined, and I took my Titan's Tooth Claymore, and I managed to slice it right into its heart, and somehow I connected some sort of power, and POW! It hurt! And then, on the back end, POW! And it hurts again! And Druk, oh, I wish you could have seen it! The amount of pain in its eyes, the reeling, its wings, it started to twitch! You could see that it wasn't expecting that hit for my blade! It was well done. I am very proud. You've come a long way, Dax. I saw how you stayed your your hand when we were going up against the infected people of the town. They were not part of our fight. I remember you holding holding back in that and I feel as though all of us as a group should hold some sort of pride for that restraint kind of his eyes just ever so slightly flicker in Ken's direction but he like doesn't he, do, he, he doesn't commit to anything in that regard. Well, it only took more than a few dozen times, but to coin in the rest of you, you know, I think something is starting to stick up here. Something. You put, he goes to put his hand on you and realizes it's that dragon hand and he like recoils and then puts his other hand on your shoulder and just kind of nods. Thank you for sharing that story with me. Hey, that means I get to hear one of your hunt stories next. <laughs> of course. We made it. Okay, so what's happening? Um, while Dax and Druck were talking, I wanted to go outside um, and summon Mom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. Um, and after what I learned in Argent, um, I know she's ah. not going to get there because she's only on this plane for an hour. Um, but I want to send her in uh, the direction of wherever my father is. She doesn't go anywhere. But uh, where where is he? They said he was out there. She can't talk. She doesn't go anywhere. Can you... What direction is his house in? His cabin, you've been there before. Doesn't move. Do you remember at least what, which direction you live from here? Doesn't move.
don't suppose you can tell me if he's still on this plane or not. Doesn't move. Guess I could have figured. Been so long, living on his own. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, if you don't mind sticking around, I think we're gonna trudge through some catacombs later today. <clears throat> uh, and then I'll just head back inside. Okay. Trying not to let on. The spirit follows. So, I think Flitz has seen this before. I'm not sure. Um, but you get back in the tower with everybody else. Any last minute things, anybody? Thought you were going to have a discussion about teleportation circle. Is that not happening? or? Oh, what's going on? Oh, that's right. I forgot we had. Uh, so, uh, we, uh, I've grabbed the teleportation circle from here. I can take us anywhere I have a teleportation circle. That includes the Soul Spire Academy. I don't know if we want to go there. The house in Anvil Varric. Uh, an Undeal City. And then right back in, right back in Argent. We can also just walk wherever we're going. But, uh, I have a quick and easy way of getting us to, uh, either our house or uh, an Undeal City. Uh, he'd mentioned that one of our bounties is within an Undeal City. Mm -hmm. I doubt we'll come in contact with any dragons doing that, but I could be wrong. Uh, I hope you're not. Same, same. Or I hope you are wrong. Wait, no. I hope we don't run into any dragons, is what that comes down to. Yes. <laughs> uh... So perhaps after that we can hopefully go to Remnant, but it does seem as though Anundil City would be the next best for completing the bounty that we've acquired. Indeed. I agree with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, uh, well, we'll call, we, let's put away the tower and then we can head to Undeal City. So you will have to dismantle the smoking setup and the whatnot. Right, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Unless you want to do more smoking. Yeah, I mean, if like, you, you have to, uh, I'll say for the purposes of this, for dragon meat, you got about another six hours of smoking to finish it. Cool. We'll, we'll just finish to... that up whenever we make land. Or, I mean, like, I mean, if we're right in the middle of an undeal city, there's plenty of trading to be happened to do there. So, that's true. You could get the meat traded while we're there. All right. Okay. And, uh, let's get the tower put away. Okay. You can easily just dismantle it. it takes about an hour oh. every time to dismantle it actually would it be faster because with the ring of telekinesis, telekinesis. i can just bow, 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 bow. <laughs> if you do if you're doing it by yourself without any help it's still gonna take well, an hour oh okay even if i'm just like well it'll take it okay, wait, coin. If everybody's doing it it'll take two hours if you're doing it with telekinesis it'll take one hour okay yeah, then I'll do the. I'll just have have coin hang out with the chest and just start just like hucking furniture at him. All right, you start hucking furniture at coin. It goes into the chest, mm -hmm. and the tower is then, dismantled yeah. and put away. All right, and then I will start. This is my first time casting the spell. I'll take out the inks and everything. I'll find a good patch of dirt and I'll start scratching. Spends. I think it takes like a minute to yeah, cast. Yeah, it takes a minute. Yeah, I'll take my or yeah, I'll take my minute. Start. Wait, wait. Yeah, cast in one minute. Start cast, start creating the teleportation circle, etching runes in the ground and everything, and painstakingly going through and scratching all of them in with everything, and then using the chalks and the inks and everything, and like filling them into little scratches in the dirt. Before I say, "All right, everybody, hop in." Right. 
right. You all hop into the teleportation circle, and you're instantly... This is a different feeling, unlike your, the other times you've teleported. This one feels like you're being compressed. Mm. And then wrung out like a towel, as you all appear in that room that you were in before in the Dreamweave Risk of the Hell, the teleportation circles carved on the ground. Um, as you all come out, the room's dark, no lights on, no one's in here, and you can hear a torrential thunderstorm going on outside, and the, the occasional like mm. peal of thunder and the flash of lightning from outside. But yeah, there's no one in here. And there's usually a person, you, can, you would remember the last time you heard, there was a person like kind of overseeing all the circles. Mm -hmm. Another peal of thunder not long after, and it sounds like the rain's coming down like bullets outside, like deafening. Mm. And then a certain word that was said kind of plays back the coin, because coin you can feel a pulsing from the fragment. And the words that were said when the dragon fled was, or from the blood was, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> it was something along the lines of, find out. it is, fuck, what are the words? Shit. It is vulnerable now? It is vulnerable, thank you. And it wasn't a person or a dragon. As you start to hear the alarm bells of a Nundial city, it was the capital, and that's where oh we're in session for the week. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Oh. Possibly killing the dragons caused them to start their attack a little earlier than expected. So that's where we'll pick oh, up next no. week. Oh no. Good night, everybody. <laughs> No, we didn't fuck up. We did exactly what we were supposed to. Dragons doing what dragons do. We'll be back next week, everybody. Bye. Scared. <laughs>